four, three. Fuck it. There's no, there's no words on it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Because I've never seen that. Fucking thing sucks. There's no words there. Fuck it. There's no, there's no words on it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Because I've never seen that. Fucking thing sucks. There's no words there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what. Go. Go. I can't do it. Fuck it. Go. Go. I can't do it. Fuck. Fuck it. Go. Go. I can't do it. Fuck it. Go. Go. I can't do it. Thanks again for watching. Fuck it. There's no words on it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Because I've never seen that. Fucking thing sucks. There's no words there. Fuck it. away. tonight what's up episode 35 uh welcome back everybody we got a little spooktacular going on for you uh the drop drop right right here right here three hours and 23 minutes we have daz mefesto on the program tonight and i got my guy hoodoo moses on the program tonight so what we're doing is we have a legit hoodoo Hoodoo Priest, I guess is what you call him. A Hoodoo Priest is on the program tonight, and he's going to do a blessing on these seeds that are going out tonight at midnight. So uh, there will be, I don't know. I'll just say this much. The pussy can to work, dudes. <laughs> pussy can to work, dude. <laughs> like, damn. Hoodoo Moses was good last time. <laughs> Let me see that pussy candle, actually. Can I, can I see that pussy candle? Yeah, he forgot to bring me one again. Dude, this, this, this arrived last time Hoodoo uh. Moses was here. It's just a candle of a pussy. But it, apparently, if you touch it, it brings all kinds of good luck. It doesn't yeah. do anything negative. I'll say that. It much. doesn't do anything negative. So yeah, the pussy candle works. So uh, yeah, um, I will say this: after Hoodoo Moses came down and cast us a spell for business success, uh, we uh, we hit into some really good business deals all of a sudden. So I'm a believer, bros. Hoodoo Moses is the is the real deal. So um, yeah, but without further ado, let's bring on. Let's see. Let's go to. I guess free shit. It's free! So I'm going to give away one pack of Dark Horse right off the jump, and we have some Daz Night Owl to give away over the show today. Party month. Well, we did that one last time. That was the one I did last time. Cry Baby. Cry Baby six pack. Cry Baby six pack. If you want to win this, free shit emails coming across the bottom of your screen. Uh, Dark Horse Genetics Live. you got to send an email uh, with the subject line, Cry Baby... Halloween Spooktacular. Crybaby Halloween Spooktacular. Whole lot of letters. And uh, we'll pick the 10th, the 20th, and the 30th person you shall win. And let's give away a Night Owl pack. It looks like you've got, you've got secret packs. You did yeah, the secret. something old, something new. There's a uh, pack of OGs, which is one of the older secret owl societies, and then Galaxy Brain, which is one of the new limited editions coming out tonight. Do you want to do Galaxy Brain right off the jump? Um, what do you want to do? I want to do both of those to one person. Both so of these to one person. Two winners total. Two winners. When you get this in the mail and you wonder why the fuck is the back blank, it's because you got to use this super secret decoder mm -hmm. deal. And then, yeah, you shine it on there and it reveals. I don't think I can really get that on camera for anybody, but it will reveal what your pack is. It's, it's super secret. And, uh, yeah, that's why. Don't be like, dude, I got, I got your packs, but there's nothing on the back. We got those emails before. Mm -hmm. but, uh, and if you don't you... win there, I've got a 500 seed giveaway going on Instagram as well right now. So check out my, my most recent post. And you can get all the details for that. How much is it? 500 seeds total. For 10 how... winners winning 10 packs. So for how much? What? Money. 
They're not winning any money, just seeds. It's free! There you go. All right. Okay. Set them up. Damn. Set them up. I walked them into it. Oh, my it. God. You're getting too good at this. I walked them into it. All Damn. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> What's the code word? Dark Horse Genetics live at gmail.com in the subject line. What do you want them to write? Um, Halloween Spooktacular. Halloween. Well, I did uh, Crybaby Halloween Spooktacular. Did you really? Did I, just did right I, now? Did I, I didn't, just say that? Uh, I think Sorry I just that. said that. Uh, what, what, change it. Halloween Spooktacular 2. <laughs> I mean, fuck it, I can do it. Halloween Spooktacular 2. <laughs> Even spookier. Even spookier. Uh, let's do the 25th person will win this. It's a two-pack giveaway, so extra special. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get Daz in the screen here. Somehow, some way. Let's see. I got buttons. One of these buttons does what I want. Four-way. So, yeah. Hoodoo Moses is in the building, but I believe he's taking a phone call or doing super hoodoo shit right now. Mm -hmm. Getting prepped. So uh, he'll be up here in a sec to uh, start doing his hoodoo blessing. Let me get the free shit off the screen. All right, free shit's off the screen. But there's Daz. Um, all right, welcome to the program, buddy. We've, I'm stoked that it's episode 35 and you're back and you were the very first ever guest on this show. And if you go back and watch episode one, it's so shitty. Like, <laughs> like, I'm still listening. You were a good guest. This, you were a good guest, but no, it's so shitty. Like, I didn't know how any of this shit worked, how any of the buttons on all of this stuff worked. Not that it's good now by any means, but like, I it mean, was. That segue you just did? That segue? <laughs> shit, pro. But no, yeah, I, I just think it's funny. Here we are almost a little over half a year, and I finally figured out how to work all this shit for the most part. But um, I think, yeah, what I want to talk about right off the jump is. Um, actually, I got to go back to this to do it. Let's talk about Seedopoly. Um, What's that? What's that? I never heard of it. Seedopoly is this. Sounds like, I don't know, something you might get in some trouble for. <laughs> Somebody call Hasbro. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, Daz and I cooked this up. If you haven't seen her IGs or you don't know what this is, Seedopoly is something that I was inspired to kind of do based off of um, McMillions, that fucking show on HBO where they ripped everybody off fucking on the game prizes. I was like, what if we did that and actually gave people the prizes? That'd be pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, we re recooked this up. And um, as you can see, all the game pieces or all the boards. Um, if you know how to play McDonald's Monopoly, you know how to play this shit, obviously. But, yeah, you collect the pieces. You win the prizes. What are some of the prizes we have up for grabs here? Um, start with a PlayStation 5. So this, this contest officially starts January 1st. The game boards are going to start shipping this week. But, uh, yeah, uh, PlayStation 5, if you want to win that one, it's going to start, uh, like I said, this contest runs through August. So there's like a, it's like an eight-month contest, plenty of time to collect the pieces. Um, the idea is one in four will be a winner, so there'll be a fuck ton of scratch-offs too. But uh, how about the mega, mega prize, 10000 bucks? Between Daz and I, we're putting up 10000 bucks. Me? Cash money, yeah. Me? Somebody tell Daz he's part of this program. <laughs> this Daz? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, 10,000 bucks. Uh, one person will win that. I believe two to four people are going to win the PlayStation 5. I think there's four sets of Method 7 glasses. $500 Sea Bazaar shopping spree to go wild. Uh, how about a pair of Illuminar lights? Or a trip for two to Hawaii. Two people will win that. Two people win the Illuminar lights. Two people win the Sea Bazaar uh, contest. Or they get a uh, shopping spree. And uh, Xbox X series, Series X, whatever the fucking new one's called. Uh, two people will win that, and two people will win a grow tent from uh, Hydro Grow is the idea on this contest. So good luck, everybody. Game board start shipping this week. And oh, one more. Uh, the Railroads, bro. Uh, prenup. Uh, I'm just prenup. Uh, Puffco. Puffco. We're going to have uh, two Puffcos. So uh, good luck collecting the pieces. One in four shall win between instant winners and these mega prizes. So fucking A, man. Good and luck. That. They're going to come only on the Sea Bazaar. Um, and uh, a game piece will come with every single uh, every single pack that uh, Dark Horse or Night Owl sells starting January 1st. We'll have the game pieces attached to them. And uh, like I said, it'll run through August. So it's only exclusive to the Sea Bazaar and Dark Horse and Night Owl. But it's something that we cooked up. And uh, like I said, wish everybody the best of luck on Seedopoly, which is coming up soon. And it's USA only, and the only reason for that is because if you win the Sea Bazaar um, prize, you actually have to come to Jay's Warehouse and run through old school, <laughs> yeah, the shopping right. cart, just take everything <laughs> off the walls. That's not true, but it is USA only because 
I don't want to pay some dude 10,000 rubles or some weird shit. And I don't know how that works. <laughs> Plus, I don't know how to get you a PlayStation in whatever country you're in. And yeah, it's just uh, be a lot easier on me if I could just keep it in America on this one, guys. We may try to run this through Europe if I can convince my guys like Pierce Steven Attitude to do it. That'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So all European guys possibly coming up there. But uh, yeah, let me get back to Daz. So yeah, we've got Daz on the program. Um, and since we have the drop that you can see in your corner that's coming up, let's talk about uh, CBZR Premium real fast. There it is on your screen, CBZR Premium. So if you don't know what it is, you go to CBZR.com. You can sign up for Premium. It's 10 bucks a month. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hoodoo Moses walks mm. in the building. Girl. Sorry for the delay. So yeah, check out CBZR Premium, and uh, we will... Uh, uh, this allows you, sorry, there's an overlay on there. This allows you to see um, uh, the, all the drops 48 hours and purchase all the drops 48 hours before they go live on the regular Bazaar. So if you're the, the Night Owl drop starts tonight on uh, Premium, check it out. We're going to ask Daz about uh, these specific strains here in a minute, but I want to uh, talk to Huda Moses real quick as he just walked in the building and get him set up on whatever the hell he's got going on. Let's, let's see what he's got going on. I'm behind schedule, so I'm going to work while I talk here, and we're just going to gotcha. go. Move this pumpkin out of your way, if you would. And um, let's say, so uh, I guess this is going to take like four hours, I was told. So this is a serious ritual. Probably yeah. like three hours start to finish. It's about it a should three work out hour just ritual. with the, uh, the countdown for the drop. So. so, yeah, just about the time that this drop starts. So these... This are these bags the seeds right yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. So All right. Let me see how big these are. This is what I've been waiting to figure out. Yeah. So uh, I've got one strain that I've set aside specifically for Hoodoo Moses to work with. It's the Supernatural And so OG. I can mix these two bags, yep. right? Yep. Oh, it's okay. We're going to have one strain that's been supernaturally blessed. I had Supernatural OG across the Cosmic drink, Queen, so I figured that was right up his alley. I'm going to put it completely in his hands. Got full faith in Hoodoo Moses to get these seeds where they, they should be or the best possible whatever reality they can be in. Well, so. you know what? I might actually be able to fit all these in the bullhorn I brought. If um, so, do what you need to do, my man. And then, um, yeah, I'm just going to put it in his hands to even name the strain. So if you could get that to me by, say, 1155, 1159, I'll get it up on the site. <laughs> and we'll be good to go. So, yeah, there's a... Here's the problem with strain names. Mm -hmm. Naturally, I'm full of them, right? But then you got... I need a few hours to fact check and make sure it hasn't been taken. Because uh, they're I'm all here for taken. You. you let me know. You shout it out if you can take a pause during. during yeah, Caesar, the human fact checker in the building, so he'll. Oh, tell that's us, true. That's oh, true. Yeah, yeah, he'll yeah. tell us instantly if there's a strain that uh, has been used. But uh, yeah, explain to us if you will, uh, Hoodoo Moses. Uh, what uh, what's the gist of what you have cooked up here? What what's so the... so Daz asked me to come up with like a, you know, some sort of ritual I could do. If you want to introduce yourself real fast to people that don't know who you are? Uh, let me let me uh, finish pouring these seeds into this horn carefully. Seeds uh, into a horn? Okay, we're already off to some yeah, weird okay. shit. I'm just seeing how many fit. It definitely definitely not all of them, so mm. we're going to go with plan B on this. Cool. Okay. That's fine. Um, Caesar, my man. That's what's up. That's what's up. I got to make some holy water. We're gonna, we're gonna, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah, Hold on. I'm, I'm making holy so water. So stoked on this right now. Okay. Let me, let me settle in. Apologies. I don't even know where the camera is. Where I was gonna say, looking? by the way, this is your, your front camera, but this is your oh, kind of workspace. Up? What's up, area. front camera? Okay. Right up in here. So if you cool. want to put uh, shit up in there. All right. This is my workspace. So folks can see what the fuck here, you're cooking the up. Bullhorn. Um, all right. So uh, about me, what I do, I don't know. I'm a, a professional sorcerer of sorts. Um, He's got it like an official, what do you call it, uh, plaque or uh, well, I'm more certificate. Ordained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so. now, I, in addition to that, now I like have my own temple. Like I have my own official faith, so I can kind of do whatever I want. Yeah, you yeah. got some yurts now, right? I have a yurt. Yeah, I want to come foundation. check that out. It's it's right up in Longmont. I was just cleaning it out today. It's um, okay, dude made his own religion. Basically, yeah. Gotcha. And uh, and it's it's a composite of different religious systems I've trained in. Because when you start getting real deep into the, the religion to the point where it becomes mysticism and you start looking in the history, a lot of stuff starts connecting, right? Like you read about the Bible and they're going down to Africa and they're going down to Egypt and stuff like that. And you find a lot of consistent themes. Mm -hmm. And so you can kind of collect all this stuff together and zoom out mm -hmm. and say, what's this big picture that includes all this stuff? Because that's what was going on then. Uh, if you just pop it right on the ground. Thank you, sir. Um, that's, uh, 
that's really what what I have been trying to accomplish. Um, and so, you know, it's a it's a learning process, and we're talking about thousands and thousands and thousands of years. So, you know, you can only focus on so much at a time. For sure. So it ends up being this very hybrid thing. Now, the magical system that I was sort of like before I started the faith, right? The system I was working professionally in is hoodoo. It's like African American conjure. Mm-hmm which relies heavily on the Old Testament, relies heavily on the Psalms, relies heavily on a lot of stuff I was exposed to growing up. So um, that adds, and that helped me understand the, a lot of the connections between Old Testament stuff and like African stuff that got carried over, incorporated, etc. So, you know, my, my whole thing is, uh, it's under the heading of spiritualism, where a lot of that faith relies. It, you'll see certainly heavy elements of, you know, Kabbalistic Judaism, that's my personal background, mm-hmm. but there's elements of, uh, Catholic liturgy in it. Uh, there's, there's, you know, Protestant style prayer in it. Um, there's, it, it's a, it's a very American thing. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a very uh, a quintessentially American faith, but it's all kind of based in Old Testament stuff. And well, it works, as I mentioned before, in my pussy candle. So there's that, yeah. You, well, will you, you, will you bless had, this up you, again, please? You've had just two real wins, right? Can you rub this for me, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do the rubbing. I don't need the pussy. You need the pussy. I, I, I mean, mean you I don't got need the pussy, pussy after this, this thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. This thing is amazing. It, it works. And I, well, Can that's I not recharge even. the blessing? Well, now you start feeding it. Feed a little honey. Okay. You know, that's, <laughs> you train it. You feed a little liquor. Feed a perfume. Okay. Um, and then that you've had you've had two two great successes thus far, right? These guys are already asking in the chat. Will pussy candles be on the premium side of Sea Bazaar? What are the chances we can get some I, pussy candles? I mean, I get that. I, I pre blessed. I can get. I if you want to do like an elite, like a platinum edition. Okay. Because you know the, the sh- they're asking. The shit ain't cheap. The shit okay. ain't cheap. Um, but yeah, we can we can work something out. But yeah, um, I just thought this would be awesome for this time of year, and kind of goes hand in hand with you know. Halloween and, and all the spiritual side of things and the mysticism and, and the spirits that whole are, realm. The ancestors are definitely thick at this time of year. You and know, every time I talk to you, I'm just blown away with with the knowledge you have. So I figured, what better what better way to celebrate together than to let well, you play I, with? I some love of it, Daz. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. Uh, kind of just putting stuff out that yeah, I'm yeah. gonna be working with, so people can see. Last time you're here, you almost burned down the building. So uh-huh. I see candles already. I'm already a little nervous. Did you get the, uh, well, I don't worry. There's the overproof rum and the highly flammable we have rum. Cologne. Yeah, we have rum and candles off to a great start. <laughs> I mean, it's up for a romantic evening, if nothing else. All right, else. charcoal. So we're okay. I, I remember the were... charcoal. Yeah, I got this. I got the tin can thing outside in case shit gets a little mm-hmm. hot haywire. I, I told you I wanted to not do it right on the desk for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> white lightning? No, this is uh, this is, uh Ray and Ned. It's overproof rum. I sometimes will use the white. Yeah, I like this more. So this is where things get interesting for this job, because okay, so so Dad said he wanted me to to do something for this, and I started looking and like, you know, there's a lot of bullshit Wiccan rituals on the internet for how to bless your seed and whatever. All that stuff's garbage, because mm-hmm. you know agriculture is one of the oldest human pursuits. There are rituals to bless your harvest, your seed, going back to the beginning of time. So I started really digging into the roots, speaking with some of my colleagues and things like that. And I got a lot of great stuff, but it's all meant to be done right before you put the seed in the ground. Mm-hmm. Like you put the seed in your mouth and say a certain prayer and then plant it. Stuff like that. So that, no go. Um, so you needed a blessing that would carry through the United I States. I need to Postal install system. it into the seed, basically. Got you. You know. Um, so, you know, there's ways of doing that. And this is where we get to, you know, a certain proficiency of working where you're not just looking up spells on the internet and copying them. It's the difference between, a, you know, cooking a recipe off the internet of food and being a chef. Mm-hmm. A chef says, what are my ingredients? What am I trying to make? I'll figure that shit out, mm-hmm. you know? So that's that's what we put together here. Uh, and so I worked with um, some of this Kabbalistic magic. Um, so you'll see I have the, this is the scribal ink and I got the feather quills and the lambskin parchment and I'm going to, Calligraphy those. I'll be calligraphying up the bullhorn. We got there's 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 things. So you have to calligraphy or write a bunch of words on these to enact your yeah your spell. sacred. What's words, up with the basically. giant horn and what are we gonna blow it again? We're gonna blow it. We're gonna sound it to activate it. Yeah. Okay. That's you know. So like if I were working in a more that that's more like Old Testament style. If I were working in a more African style, we'd have gunpowder. Can I see that real quick? Yeah. Yeah. And this is a, the, what is this? This is a shofar. It's like a Jewish religious instrument. We blow them on the high holidays. Oops. They're, they're good for all sorts of spiritual stuff. You'll see them in some uh, Christian t- 
denominations as well. And do you talk about doing previous podcasts and shows and anything like that? I just want to say, when I first met you, I think it was 2015 when I came out to... Oh, you know, I, 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 try, I usually separate my lives, but we bled okay. those together so hard. In well, the I just one. knew then and there that, that you were a different dude. I was like, there's something special about this guy. So right. I've appreciated being able to reach out and talk over these years and... and well, thanks, yeah, man. Being in your presence, so... That's that's uh that's really the highest praise. For so, those of you in the cannabis community that looks familiar is Mitch from the Dun Show in a former world. Um, but yeah, he used to be on the Dun Show too, so a lot of people I'm sure recognize Hoodoo Moses. Dude, this I brought this here. This is frankincense from Somalia that was like hand carried from Somalia. This is hand carried from Somalia. Okay. I don't even really know what frankincense is. but It's a tree resin. It's like hash from a very aromatic tree. It does. So I hotboxed my temple, my yurt, for the first time on the High Holy Days. <laughs> so it says in the Bible, on the High Holy Days, the high priest should take... By the way, if you just use the Bible as an instruction book and not a moral parable, fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. We'll put that out there. So it says in the Bible, on the High Holy Days, the priest should take a handful of coals and two handfuls of incense and shut himself up in the temple with it. So I took a roll of these... Sparked them up. It was like a handful, you know. Sparked it up. Two handfuls of this stuff. This bag was full. Popped it on there and just sat and hotboxed the yurt with that. Bro. 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 <laughs> I believe Bro, it. the experience that I had. Because you're like, wow, it's getting real smoky in here. I can like see stuff, whatever. Yeah, it's Right, but hold on. First of all, it's a yurt. So I got, I got air coming through, you know. So I'm like, but then you get to the point where like, I don't know. I, I was I was just kind of zoning, getting hypnotized by the smoke, and then it was I could. At, at the last thing I remember thinking is, "Wow, I can't see across this motherfucker," and it's like you know, ten feet across, twelve feet across. I was like, "I can't see the other side of this thing." And then I don't know how much time had passed, but I was coming out of this crazy vision, and it was dope. It was super dope. I might need to go experience this yurt. The yurt is what's up. All right. Well, we'll let you set up. I'm gonna yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just, gonna go through Daz's new drop with him, and uh, explain to the people what's new and what's coming in T minus three hours and three minutes. Is there so, herb uh, that I can? There's certainly herb all over the place. Oh, so here. Daz, we're gonna burn some incense, mm -hmm. and we need to mix. If you, especially if you have any of the parent strains, dope. But we're gonna mix herb in with the incense as an obvious. I could um, tie in. <clears throat> I could I could get you some. How soon do you need it? Like, we got time. Okay. Got to, I gotta, I gotta, know. I gotta write some stuff. I'm make I some, can... make some calls here. <laughs> oh, okay, it's time like that. Okay. No, no, you're good. We'll get it over here. Too sweet. No worries. So Toot I usually sweet. like to match the cigar that I use in the work thematically with the work. So I brought a few today, but I found I think what we're gonna do here is the uh, the black market. The black market. Okay. This one's for the black market growers, right, guys? Yes? Sorry, what did I just miss? Sorry. So I, I usually, like, you know, cigars have all kinds of crazy names, mm -hmm. right? So one, you know, especially in hoodoo and the, and the tradition I work in, we use, like, the the very literal kind of tie-ins okay. to give things power. So, I, you know, I have, I have the bones here, and I got the, the swamp thing or whatever. But I got this one. It's called the black market. So that's the cigar I'm going to use to uh, bless this batch. Okay, okay. Just in case anybody out there does happen to be messing around in that world. All right. Because we all know black market weed's better. Secret right. ingredient is crime. The secret ingredient is crime. <laughs> all right, back to the Sea Bazaar Premium. Um, <laughs> bless you. Excuse me. Excuse me, everybody. In the most literal sense, bless you. Yeah. All right. Um, let's go through the drop real quick. Uh, Galaxy Brain. Down here in the bottom is probably easier for you to see. Uh, what's Galaxy Brain? Salmodelica Express crossed to Cosmic Queen. That's uh, two real sativa dominant uh, plants coming out in a really, really nice kind of berry, a little bit of um, sharp alcohol notes and little hints of, of sweet creaminess in there too. But that uh, one's really nice, super heady, really uplifting, really euphoric. I have a feeling there's going to be some uh, CBD showing up in that one too, just a slight slight bit because there's no paranoia raciness any of that stuff in it so gotcha there's galaxy brain let's go on next you know how many strains you're dropping right now yeah you're about to go through all of them i mean we we don't have to go through all you have a shit ton a lot yeah okay yeah let's do it i mean, I mean we could do it quickly yeah let's go quickly rapid style 
Electric Kool-Aid. That's a blue microverse across the Cosmic Queen. And that one's got kind of a blue raspberry, blue watermelon, blue lemonade. I'm sorry, not blue watermelon, blue um, cotton candy. Okay. Stand pink. Little blues in there? Lots of, lots of shades of blue in there. So gotcha. That one's really nice. And that's a good mix. Probably 50-50 hybrid there and good body and high. Not, not too crazy lethargic. Definitely not racy. So she's a nice... My stony one. Perfect. What about Judy Gemstone? I love the name. I didn't know you named this. This is perfect. Yeah, Judy Gemstone <laughs> was a purple fino of strawberry nuggets that I crossed the Cosmic Queen, and I'm expecting that one to come out very, very nice. Sweet honey and, and berries and the whole gamut of colors from, from greens to pinks and purples. Karmic Connection? That's a Chem City Blues crossed the Chem Dogging. Oh, we got a, a fly, fly in here. Yeah. Uh, and that's crossed to Cosmic Queen and... Cosmic Queen also has chem dogging back in it. That was the auto parent that I used. So that's kind of a, I don't know, ethereal karmic connection between all of them somewhere down the line. But that one makes big, big colas. Not the tightest, most dense buds, but big old school colas of like gassy blueberries. And, um, Is that the biggest yielder in the batch, you think? <sighs> it's going to be a toss up. There's, oh. Yeah, there's a lot of big ones in this one. I went for mostly bigger plants on, on this round when I was selecting. So. I'm hoping to to have some nice big ones. In I there. mean, your plants for autos are probably between my festival and night owl, probably the biggest yielding autos that there are already. Already. Well, but, there are some that go, you know, 120, 130 days. But at that point, that's what's the point, you know? Right. Why why even use auto then? But they're by far the biggest, just because they veg longer. We so, always try to keep ours, you know, 70, 80 days, somewhere in that range. Some go a little bit longer, but we're more focused on making sure you get that quick turnaround and the quality rather than huge, huge yields, because sure. who wants to smoke two pounds of dog shit? Or grow, you know, for half the year on right. one strain. I mean, that's kind of like the Alaska giant pumpkin thing. Uh, you know, like, it grows outside in Alaska and veg forever, you know, so they get ginormous. But uh, Mango Sunrise, what's, uh, what's up to this one? That's Mango Smile across the Cosmic Queen. That's another real sativa one. That one had really nice pineapple, mango, citrusy smells. It's uplifting, heady, really, really nice eye. So I was also going to mention that uh, your descriptions, you have probably the most thorough descriptions generally. Like, Well, I tried to cut back on that for, for these. I feel like I, I don't you know, got I a little wordy. too much. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm, I mean, I'm trying to make these the, you know, they're the, the smallest batches, so I feel like they should have the most mystery to them, you know? So I'm trying to rein that in a little bit. I, I, I mean, I think a the story on each of these, honestly. I think the people appreciate as much detail as you can give them, though. Well, sometimes I get too personal. It's like, oh, just tell me about the damn plant. So. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Uh, milk and cookies. I like the I like the cue on the cookies. Yeah, that's the forum stomper across to the Cosmic Queen. Yeah, that one's super greasy and resinous, and I mean, trikes for days. So I'm expecting a, a larger, sweeter version of forum stomper with that one, and yeah, it, it, I, that one's going to be really nice, and no doubt about it. Is playing favorites, dare I ask, what's your favorite? Um, hmm. I think <laughs> Galaxy Brain, honestly. I Galaxy mean, Zama Delica still is just your number one. like that, and going to photos like Tropicana Cookies, and that just make me feel so damn good. So I just uh, got a huge whiff of like peppermint or something. What, what's up over here, Hoodoo? What'd you do? Oh, yeah. Water. yeah, what the fuck is that? It's like a spiritual cologne. Spiritual cologne, okay. Right. Okay. Can I check that out? Do you think? Do you think? Lightens the vibe. Is this something you wear? <laughs> I wear it. I'll fix it. I'll like put it usually for, for my own stuff. We use it in working a lot. It's one that used to light this on fire. Clean the candle with it. It's like for spiritual cleanse. You go to a graveyard, you come out of a graveyard. So I'm not talking in the mic. You go to a graveyard, you come out of a graveyard, you wash off of Florida water. For those at home, it smells like your dad's jupe. Jupe. <laughs> you ever wore that? <laughs> yeah, but it's like $4 at uh, Walmart. That's it? No, this uh, stuff. Oh. Jupe is too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, jupe is sweeter. I feel like no? <laughs> no, that smells good. I like that. See, you, you recognize you recognize the bottle. I mean, you recognize the smell I of the bottle. It in yeah, you know it. Uh, back to let's see, space station orange does. That's a space station orange version too. That's the super orange haze cross to the cosmic queen. Uh, the first time I did orange diesel cross to the cosmic queen. So this is just a remake. Re rework. And <clears throat> you guys that are here. Let you in on a little secret. Go for those first if that's something you're after, because there's the least of those. So <clears throat> move quick. Gotcha. That's the least uh, available pack. Yep. Uh, pack. Yep. 
Star Crunch, good name. Yeah, I thanks. can't believe this isn't a strain already. Caesar, this is not a strain encyclopedia? I ran it by him. If he says something now. All right. All right. That's amazing. That's Star the, Crunch, great name. Thank you. Tooth Decay across to the Cosmic Queen. That's going to be another. That's one of the more indica dominant ones. Uh, tight buds, colorful, specks of purples and pinks and reds in there. And yeah, really sweet baked goods, candy goods, just the whole spectrum of kind of the dessert thing. The My favorite Fino from the, the Tooth Decay was this really birthday cakey one, <clears throat> and that's what I used. So I'm hoping you get some of those passed along the way there. Gotcha. Give me, a, give me a mic on Hoodoo. He's busy, but give me a little help here. Hoodoo's doing some work. I want to catch a little bit of it. There's an active blessing going on. All right. Creme de la Cosmos, another great name. Thank you. Yeah, that's the creme de la soul that everyone was such a big fan of, Cross to the Cosmic Queen. That one's going to be a little bit bigger, and <clears throat> that's a poly hybrid compared to some of the other ones where the true F1 hybrid. So uh, that one, I'm expecting a little bit more variation in there running. Um, yeah, berries. There's going to be a little some chems popping up in there, and then, yeah, a, a, a good bit of sweetness from the Cosmic Queen as well. Fearfully do we pray to you, That last two here uh, might be disrespectful. Uh, we just put a microphone on. We asked him to go to work. He's going to do it regardless. Right. It goes against everything I was brought up in, but uh, I'll talk over some of There's an active Greg. blessing going on, that's all. all right, uh, where are we at? Uh, spotless Mind. Oh, that's the Fugue State Cross of the Cosmic Queen. <clears throat> so the Galaxy Brain is a real creative sativa, is how I would describe it. I mean, it really helps it motivates me a lot and cool. i don't know it just gets the creative juices going for me <clears throat> so this pot's holy water now Beautiful. that's what just happened you that's, bless that water that's holy water yeah that's right. bless salt bless water the whole ritual that's the same thing a catholic priest would do it wonderful the the fugue is another upbeat euphoric sativa but it's a mind calming it's got that uh, amnesia haze effect to it and it i mean it's really nice for people that like indica style you know, kind of sit around and, and veg out, but don't want all the body high. Sure. This is, yeah. Amnesia Haze is, I mean, I have super fond memories of Amnesia Haze, for like smoking a joint of that back in the day when I was a delivery driver. And like, it was one joint lasted me the entire day. I'll never forget it because I was like, well, this stuff is like different. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was, a, I mean, I've always loved Amnesia Haze. I don't see it too much often anymore. No, so. uh, we actually worked from memory loss from, from Fletcher. His, uh, I think it was a BX2 on the Amnesia. Shout out to Archive. Yeah. All right, well, uh, one more, I think, on this drop coming up here in T minus two, minute, two hours, 52 minutes. Oh, yeah, that's a restock there. Cheech Biggins, restock? Yep, yep. So this has been released, but yep, people want it so much that it's coming back. Wizard's Apprentice crossed to a, a Tyrone Stomper. And, yeah, I think I've got I don't know, maybe 50 packs of those left, leftovers from the last drop, so I was going to throw those up on premium, and if people wanted them there... Have at them. Um, and then we've got the Supernatural OG Cross to Cosmic Queen. With, if we're going to go through all of them, might as well mention that one too. And that's what Hoodoo Moses is working on. And that one is like Sprite Haze, Lemon Lime, Super Sweet, Effervescent, and <coughs> Gin and Tonic. It's like Juniper, a Juniper Haze, a Lemon Lime Haze. It's super nice. It's really, really nice. And that the the more juniper smelling and tasting ones kick my ass. They like put me in the couch, but I'm still mentally all there. But I don't know, man. They, I love those. They kick my ass in the best possible way. <laughs> the the more sprite lemon lime flavored ones are more uplifting. Um, you know, more every day. Just go to nothing, nothing too crazy with them. But yeah, those those juniper finos are phenomenal. Got gotcha. you. Um, we're gonna get a little stank and a little fire here. So heads up. Uh oh, fire! Let's go back over to Hoodoo real quick. Fire's coming on. Anytime there's fire, I gotta pay attention. You never know. You want to talk anything about uh, the goodies, Des? That's coming with all this shit. Oh man, do you think I should, or should I just, yeah. you know, let that? Oh shit! Oh shit! We got flaming. We're flaming. I feel the heat. 
<laughs> Feel the heat. Just gonna make sure we don't get too big a flame. You know, I got the lights oh, down. Shit. Let's grab that mic and push that away a little bit. Yep, yeah. there we go. We're, we're if the picture starts Hoodoo is officially back in the building. Yeah. Hoodoo is back in the building. This is what we expected here. I told you there'd be fire. Yeah, you should move this thing. This looks super expensive. We're trying to do my stream deck. <laughs> my stream deck might, might go up. All right, we're good. We're good. Everything's all right. Sometimes the hoodoo gets a little a little scary, but it's all for a good cause. Mm -hmm. what, what else is in there you put in there? I see all kinds of white shit in the bottom. Crack cocaine. No, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> it's like, and this is alchemy. That's blessed salt. Blessed salt. Okay, he just lit up some salt. So we're cleaning this up because you. I don't know what the fuck you did with this before, but we're yeah, I probably make lasagnas out of that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's no. We want no spirit of lasagna to that remain. Is my lasagna pan, for the record. <laughs> uh, I didn't catch your answer because I there was a fireball over here. Did what we were talking about the stuff? There's a lot of. A lot of extras that come with the draw, but we're just going to leave it there. You want to talk about what you did. You worked your ass off on it. You might as well brag a little bit about it, or you want it to be a giant surprise. Um, I mean, it's it's out there. Um, well, we did a scratch off. I mean, should I have that stuff delivered with, with the weed? We can just oh, show yeah. it instead of talking about it. We can show the, yeah, we can show how, the scratch how off. How soon did you, um, did you need the parental unit there? The scratch off is what... Oh, we, I mean... I mean, the, obviously, the sooner we have it here, when, right. like the, it's more of the question of the latest I could get it, right? And the right. latest it can be is like fifteen minutes. Oh, fifteen minutes is plenty of time. Yeah, I'm tilt not going to tilt that make this camera up a little bit. It's got a tilt on it. There you go. Can a little you, bit more. A little bit more. Let me see my. Okay, so it's, it's not really getting anything. It's a, it's a standing cam. Uh, no, just tilt the whole thing up. There you go. I guess. So it has my face. Yeah, that's the that's idea. The best we can get out of All it. Right. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. This it's a chin is, cam. So there you go. This hey, thing's not hot anymore. Standing. Cool. All right. So, yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, so there's a scratch-off card. Your chance to win $25, $50, or $200 off a future purchase from the Seed Bazaar. Well, specifically for me on the Seed Bazaar. I don't want to throw anybody else in there. Wait a minute. We're, so we're gambling now? You already know I'm a degenerate gambler. You catch my gambling streams every once in a while. But we got gambling scratch-offs? Got scratch-offs. There's a whole sticker pack with, uh, let's say, I don't know, 10 to 15 designs, depending on how lucky you are. As we ran out, we've got all the all the goodie packs in chronological order, so the people that order first get everything. And as we ran out of supplies, the people that order later get lesser quantities of things. <clears throat> Glow-in-the-dark ashtray. Um, Glow-in-the-dark ashtray, chocolate. the one that we gave away on the show a while back. Yep, yep. And then the, the custom That's chocolate, cool. I think, is the, the crown jewel there. What kind of chocolate? Um, it's Belgium milk chocolate. <laughs> and I'll, uh, here, I'll have Dudes. one brought yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, bring over some chocolate. Does anybody do it better than Daz as far as, like, the hookup, the, the swag? Like, does anybody? This There's dude made lot. custom uh, chocolates, Belgium chocolates. <laughs> a lot went into it. Uh, yeah, I, I recall. And then you, I remember you trying to get a fucking... A box for it or some shit. So you had a custom design your own box. That was the hardest part. I thought I wasn't going to be able to. I, I almost. We're talking yeah, nutrition facts and times. shit. We're talking shrink wrap allergy from mornings. the factory allergy shit. Like it's Halloween. He's just trying to give you guys a piece of chocolate. It's my time of year. You know, I'm born around here. I'm a Libra. I've always loved the fall. It's like it's when I feel the most myself. And I mean, even when I started Night Out, I knew I was going to do a big Halloween thing. And last year, I mean, I was all set. And then Max had his accident. So I had to postpone it last year. And I, I most of that went towards his accident and, and their recovery fund. So totally. thank you very much to everyone that supported last year. That was huge, like super huge. Um, but yeah, Halloween's always been my thing. It's it's my time of year. And I like to you know show out and give everybody a good time. And hopefully everybody enjoys it. And yeah, I mean, there's always somebody, so... Let's say even that hoodie that you're wearing, I think that hoodie is eventually oh, yeah. going to come out. Did you make official call on yep, it? Yep, yep, they're in production now. It should be here late October, early November, so... You want to join the varsity the, team? Yeah, never made varsity anything before, so... <laughs> it looks like a letter jacket. Oh, letter jacket. Dazzles you new lasagna pan. I'm going to have to write on here. Oh, uh, I don't need that pan. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Hoodoo it up. Yeah, we'll hang it on the wall after. Although, it appears you just drew a pentagram in the middle of the pan? That's a star, David. Yeah, that's, that's a star, David. Okay. That was way more chill. Way more, more chill. I for a second. Uh, yeah. I, I, <laughs> whew. Did we get that? Oh, we got that. Oh, it's on camera. Okay. 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 I'm, every time I get a little bit nervous, but I have the faith that we're gonna, it's going to work out. <laughs> it's going to work out. 
You want to, BK, you want to push that camera back down a little bit? Mr. Handycam Man. There we go. Well, so what, where are we at now, Hoodoo? You um, we'll explain the process, if you will, where we are. Well, not burning shit down. Yeah, we're trying not to light stuff on fire. It, so it now, would be good for the show if you do, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so now we're going to do the part where I just make sure I have everything set up, and then I smoke some herb, and then uh, then I quietly do some calligraphy while you guys jabber. Because okay. uh, i got to calligraphy up the horn, mm -hmm. and then I've got the... Uh, i got to do these guys with the quill. Will we know what the calligraphy says before you put it on there? Or was that for so, us to, you to know so, us to find out? I mean, I can, I can, I don't know which camera I'm on. I can show you. I, I brought it with me. Um, so it's from the book of Psalms. It's without getting into a lot of technical shit about what I do. I extracted the holy names from a verse about agricultural abundance mm -hmm. from a, a verse in the book of Psalms. Converted those into the holy names, found equivalent other holy names. So I'll be like inscribing the holy names and and sort of um, um, bringing those energies, those patterns of life to bear and into focus on these seeds. And for the herb, do you need a joint or bowl or what's your preference there? Oh, the, the herb I'm going to smoke right now? Yeah. Well, I, I brought my own bowl because I didn't know if we were still doing COVID rules. Oh, yeah. I would have rolled you your own joint. And oh, well, then let's do that. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, because then I'll get in the cigar and all that. You good cool. with Tropicana cookies? I'm good with whatever you got for me, boss. I appreciate it. Thank Should you, I, sir. Should uh, I borrow your ashtray there? Yeah. At what point does the uh, seed come into play? So basically, we're going to prep this whole area. Uh, the seed's going to end up sitting right in here. After I write the holy names around this diagram, and the seed's going to go on there. The horn's going to go in the seed. Um, and then basically just prayers, and then we're going to blast it with this. Uh, I'm still I'm determining my fire comfort level because <laughs> one way we could do it is we could... Uh, I mean, I, I took down all the smoke detectors. I am ready for fire. Okay. All right, okay. then let's get fiery. Yeah, we're ready for seeds. fire. We let's just might need to get the mics out, though. Let way. me light some incense charcoals at minimum and get some good smoke in the air with this other good smoke. And then... Um, Are we smoking cigars? Yeah, yeah. All of us or just you? I, I mean, it could be all of us. could be just I me. might need to get down on a cigar. I got you a housewarming cigar a while ago. I forgot mm. about that. Um, yeah. get, hold on. So... <laughs> Yeah, we'll get some incense going in here, start getting the, everything kind of iry. And uh, uh, she's flaming up. She's flaming up. There's a little more fire. Well, there, I, so if you want to do the fire version, the best, the best way that I could possibly do this, the way that I would do it if it was for me, is I'm going to prepare painstakingly hand calligraphy these holy names on this parchment and then light it on fire. And we're going to mix the ashes in with the seeds. Okay. So the seeds will be coated in the, you know, the idea of burning something down and concentrating it as it shrinks, you know, down to the little ash. All that I power got you. is getting concentrated I got you. in. Okay. A little, it, what, in the end, it's just potash? That's gonna help yep, you exactly. You have a little potash on your seeds, okay. which is only no going to help it germ anyway. Seeds are still going to be solid. If anything, they're going to be blessed and going to grow like from Jack and the Beanstalk We were shit. thinking the same thing. Are you guaranteeing germs on the <laughs> <or am> I? <laughs> 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 Oh, shit. Imagine none of them germ now. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could be putting them in my mouth if you wanted. Yeah. That's a, that's a very bad idea. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, they'll be guaranteed. Yeah, no. Regardless. I, like I said, I have 100% faith. I guarantee they're like going to be badass because of the blessing going down right now. No doubt in my mind. No doubt at all. <laughs> um, yeah, these seeds do go on sale tonight. And thank you again for premier. taking the time to do this. Or yeah, man. this is It was really cool, premium. the timing of everything. Because we talked about this. Mm -hmm. And then I guess for folks who are just catching me and wondering what the hell this is all about, check me out on Instagram. It's at Hoodoo Moses. I'm sure... Got it on your screen right above your head. Yeah, it's there. right above my head there. So uh, check it out. And so I've been I've been just hustling, keeping up with my orders on there. You know, I do candles and oils and all kinds of stuff. And yeah, my schedule just cleared perfect time to do this. And as I was telling you earlier, Daz, you know, when I when I was like, oh, I guess I got to build a ritual from scratch. <laughs> Let me find a verse of scripture. Man, the first one I opened to was just perfect. All the numbers worked out. It was perfect length. It, it couldn't have been better. Uh, so. 
This is meant to happen, is I guess what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. What about uh, like further enhancing this practice by you know cracking these on the full moon or even on Halloween? Maybe? So I mean, like planting according to the moon is like very legit, very old school. Um, you know, you want to plant on the new moon, so when it's dark, because it's going to get bigger, and you want your plant to get bigger, and then you want to harvest on the full moon, obviously. Um, and there's all kinds of, you know, farmer's almanac type shit. Totally. Borderline science and magic about this. Anything to Halloween specifically? The Night of the Dead? I mean, so what we do around that time, I don't have anything to do with Halloween, right? But the, the, the 1st of November, right, which in Mexico is Dia de los Muertos, it's, mm -hmm. it's a time of ancestral connection. And ancestral, that's, that's big in, in, uh, in my traditions. Um, and the, so we say the spirits of the ancestors are present. So uh, if you could have, you know, sprouting that setting up a little ancestor altar meaning just like pictures of your ancestors your grandparents or whoever passed away mm -hmm. a little candle white candle a little glass of water and then germ it on that altar you know with you know request your ancestors to watch over it and you know bless it that's that's first of all very old school and second of all at least as powerful as all the shit i'm gonna do you need to put together uh, put together a like you want a little guide dummy yeah a guide for dummies so it's interesting this uh Someone who's grows at a dispensary, it, and this, the timing of this is crazy. Both of you at the same time. This guy met completely different from like the you know urban survival courses I take and shit like mm -hmm. that. He was taking that. He grows for a dispensary. He said, "Well, I, I would like to maybe have you do a class for all my growers on mm -hmm. stuff they could do. So maybe maybe there's something here, guys. Maybe I think something. so. I've put together courses for people who are if like if you're just interested in herb and the spirituality around herb, you can go on my page right now and mm -hmm. there's two pretty extensive courses. Um, on the spirituality and magic of herb and, and uh, great place to get started. Really yeah. good for this audience. What the, I just looked up to the ceiling wow, and I'm flipping okay. out, bro. It's the pot of water. Oh, the it's holy the pot water. Of water. Okay. Wow. I, don't, I guess we can't show that. But <laughs> that's birds, bro. Bro. <laughs> that's birds. <laughs> There's circle that's spiraling. That is awesome. Wow. Circle spiraling effects going on through the smoke. Is that the owl eyes? Uh, yeah, oh, oh, shit. Wow. That I really need to get a shot of that somewhere. Can I do this? Can I flip oh, this up? got everything taped Maybe up. it's taped, but yeah, I don't think it'll go up. No. What about this? Anyway, the ceiling right yeah. now is fucking crazy. Was it doing that this whole time? It's doing like a hypno, I, yeah, a hypno dude, spin. I, I got to stop watching it. And, it, you know, if you look at the water, it's not. It's the t it's the total effect of the the oh, yeah, light yeah. and the smoke and the water. Yeah, they see the see. Yeah, there's two hypno spinners. The owl eyes up yeah, there. I got it. Okay. Uh, there it is. I've identified the spirit. It's right there. Okay. <laughs> Sir, it's spiraling right. in your screen. It's a portal. It's a portal. <laughs> Shit is getting real in here. Oh, it's like the siren Shit song. I can't real. stop. Wait till the floor starts getting hot, not from the fire Ooh. and shit. We see and now what I'm trying to decide. This is what I'm really trying to decide is Do I go hardcore here and make Bro. you guys stop doing the show when it's time and like give you the papers and make you say amen and all that stuff? Or do I just do this? What do you mean go hard? Say uh, it one more time? So like I can either I can I can we, we can put the show on pause when it's time to get serious and like I can involve you guys, you give you I printed papers for everyone. It says where you got to say amen and shit. And and we'll have a focused group intention. We could go that way, or we could just keep going as is. And as is, but I want to. I mean, that would be it. That would be towards the end. That's not yet. Yeah. We got time. Yeah. How about first name idea? We'll okay, so keep these going throughout so the night. So one of the attributes of of God that I'm working with in here is the divine feminine, right? Because feminine powers rule seeds. So one of the the primary. Um, Feminine names of God we have is Shekhinah, which is very hard to say. Okay. So in English, it's like Sh Shekinah, S-H-E-K-I-N-A-H. Okay. -E you'll see it written that way in like English Christian text. Cool strain name. No one will ever pronounce it right. That happens. Zamodelica is, is a hard one, too. That's okay, yeah, you're, you're not timid, so yeah. that's cool. Um, so like that's that's my first Okay, I like cut. it. Um, there, I'm going to, we'll see if anything comes to me in the ritual. Um you know, El Shaddai is another holy name that's feminine. It, it kind of means the breasts, but it's also the sustainer and the protector, and it's it's a good one. I we like might that. go with 
Mercury. But what are the what are the parents again? Cosmic Queen is one of them. And so Supernatural OG. You know, Shekinah is literally the cosmic queen. Like that's the, the queen of the cosmos is what they said, translate that as. I like that a so lot. So that one's gonna kinda probably win. It would okay. be very hard for Selena to take it out. Very good. What's super interesting though is like my one of my teachers, my master prophet, is Dr. Cosmic is his name. So that's that's a phenomenal time. <laughs> he well. doesn't have headphones on. He can't hear the X-Files music to. you're playing. It doesn't need to. <laughs> I just don't want to laugh in his face without him knowing <laughs> why. It's like, bro. <laughs> it's not, right, it's not an insult. That's just no, that's no, just no, adding to the I vibe. You guys got hold the my reaction. I mean, let's. can we bring the house lights down and like get a little more in the candlelight mood? Because the, the, the... We can flip those. We can try it. I think it might get way dark. Let's see what we got. How are we looking? See me? I look good. All lit I'm up here. good. There's an orb surrounding your face right now. It's from the light. Yeah, a lot of things have explanations, man. But uh, when you start putting together the totality of things, and you start looking at the improbabilities. Mm -hmm. Then some interesting stuff starts to come together. It looks like the owl eyes have chilled out, though, which yep. is good. There, that's... Yeah, so I was going to warn you about your equipment, but we'll deal with it. Oh, bro, you, you bro, have more you electric doing? running through you than the normal person. That's what it is. Oh, You're too you. conductive. Oh yeah, you're fucking up the camera Dude, with the hoodoo. Smooth. Yeah. This is like this is common, and batteries die and shit. This is like very, very normal. I've had I'm telling I've you had guys. I've had people filming my classes where I did a live demo going fine, no problem. I start the live demo, fifteen minutes in, all the batteries die. All the battery packs get swapped in, they die within fifteen minutes, and they were like fully charged. Weird shit happens, man. Weird shit happens with camera gear and you know, you hear that as a stereotype all the time, but it's definitely comes from a place of truth. And it's only happening to you because you're the most fucking and like spiritually said, loaded The first in time here. I met him, I was like, there's something different about this dude. I've never never <laughs> really bothered you or gone out of my way to talk to you in depth about anything, but I was just like, whenever he's around, I'm going to I'm gonna take him in like a sponge. That's cool, man. That's really <laughs> flattering. Thank you, Daz. That's cool. Yeah, no worries. Do I have the X-File music for that, too? I just yeah, You it. just cut it off. I can just I, cut it off. Can I get an ashtray because I don't want to ash in my work? Should we, have, we have way more ashtrays than the one we're all using. I'm going to grab another one. That's no, cool. there should be like three or four in here in the studio. Dude, would you fix yeah. that? Am I no longer lagging? I think I might have seen one in the bathroom. That's cool. That's cool. I see it there. Cool. I could unplug it and plug it so, in, but you look better now. We'll get it. I'll fuck it up again. Don't worry. <laughs> My goal is to have people. You, I know your guy's goal is to have it working good. But I know if the spirit's kicking through me, it's going to do some weird stuff. Oh, it's already, dude. It's doing weird stuff. Well, the, it's the, already the doing weird stuff. The flame is making it go in and out, and it's giving you that, that red aura around you. It. I th I don't Pinkle. believe that that's the candles. I think that's him. That's just magic. That's his aura. What candles? I'm right next to him, and there's no pink around me, bro. Just saying. He's glowing. I'm not commenting. He's glowing. I'll let you guys come to your own conclusions here. Something's, something's going on. Anyway, let's bring it back to uh, N uh, Night Owl real quick. Yeah. Um, no, keep going. Let me ask... You're in the process of a move. I don't know if you want to talk about it too much publicly or whatever, but yeah. you're going So have patience with East me during Coast. this drop. If you're not paying with credit card and you're sending money in the mail, get it in quick, or you might be waiting for a couple weeks because I'm going to be back and forth between Colorado and Maine. I'm, I'm going to be ended up in Maine. Heading east. Yep. So uh, what big plans in Maine? Do you think you want to talk about it? Yeah, or? I've been working on getting my licensing out there, so I'm looking forward to... Finally being able to show off. If you were watching earlier and you heard some of Max's stuff and the raid and all that, and might have had some plants going over there, and you know we're we're pretty interconnected. So I've been super chill on everything and not posting many pictures of anything at all, and trying to keep low key. And I'm everything's done, ready to ready to move, ready to packed up, and ready to go. So yeah, I'm gonna be be moving east here shortly. When you say licensing, you what's the ultimate goal? Are you trying to do like a store? Or are you trying to just wholesale wholesale? No, or I'm just seeds trying to the to, market or what are you trying to kind of put together? Uh seeds seeds to the market. Just trying to not have to look over my shoulder for, you know, plant counts or any of that silly nonsense to the degree that I have in the past and some of the things that I've done. Sure. So really just just that confidence there so I can finally kind of show people what I've been up to. Gotcha. So heading heading east to uh, run the seed op, or is it obviously going to be a bigger operation? You think you'll have more stock? So yeah, I know your stuff is hard to get, man. It goes really quick. So uh, I'm definitely. sure these guys are wondering, like, are you going to start producing way more seed? Yep, I got a nice project space to work on the photo to auto stuff, as well as a big reproduction space to continue all the femline line work. So. Yeah, as long as everything goes smooth <clears throat> with the move and and 
all the paperwork and everything on that end. Night Owl should be golden for 2021, and at least, you know, after the first couple months of 2021, we'll be rocking and rolling, and, and hopefully I'll be able to keep things stocked for you guys, because I know you I hate having to wait, and, and I, I hate having to make you wait, but that's... I, I grew way quicker than I anticipated, and I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for that. It's It's been amazing, so thank you. How long has it been? Two years officially <clears throat> now? Or? Almost two years. Almost a year and a half. Years. Yeah. Yeah, a year and a half. I mean, yeah. That's it's been a like a slow but giant rise in my opinion. Like it, it didn't come exactly like super quick, but no, at the no, same no. time, it's been steady and in demand, and the people love it. And uh, yeah, I, it's know. the word of mouth, really. I mean, people grow it and then tell their friends, and and that's it. Yeah, shout out to like the Reddit guys too, because there's a big community on Reddit that uh, for sure that t talk or talks about your stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they keep everybody informed. I'm sure there's a few of them watching. Shout out to the Reddit guys. And I I'm, I'm I don't know if I've said it publicly or not, and I don't want to like embarrass you or anything, but man, I I gotta thank you so much for pushing me and and supporting me and giving me a home to to do the Night Owl project from the Seed Bazaar. And I mean, you've been my number one advocate and, and I cannot thank you enough for that. So thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, man. I honestly didn't do much of shit other than tell you you could do it. And you uh, put the battery in my back and let me let me take off with I mean, it. You're so a I talent. I don't want to take any credit for your talents because you're a talent. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just told you to go, go fucking do it, you know? Yeah. And, well, yeah. thank you. I appreciate it's that. So sweet. But uh, yeah, this, uh, the the spirit is clearly in the room. Look at look at how yeah. look how this look how also, turn out the lights and these guys are hugging in thirty five seconds. Cut these lights out. That herb is oh. downstairs, so let me go grab that. Excellent. Grab Excellent. So can I get some herb? There's a, jar, a bag over can there. Can I can I can I hype this on my IG? Like I got yeah. people that'll hop yeah, on. What is it? Just the dark horse? Or is it, well, Dark, yeah, I, it's, this is live on IG on darkhorsegenetics.com so or uh, darkhorsegenetics IG. Maybe I'll I'll set my phone up and go live. Can I go live with you? You can try. I don't know how that oh, works. Oh no, you're using the studio. Because I'm using the studio yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. so that I highly I don't know how that works. It's still going on Instagram. It's past an hour. Is it past an hour already? Oh shit. Yeah, it is weird. It's still going on Instagram. I don't. Know. I noticed that the other day when I was gambling. So I think maybe IG is giving us more time. But either way, if you're on IG, it might cut you off. If it does, we'll be over on Twitch. And uh, YouTube or so you know what? Dark Horse just, Live. I'll just go live. I'll just pop up my phone and go live online. Yeah, you can go live. Stick it, stick and your then shit up in here. And where's then, a? You, can you? Can I give my phone to someone? A, there's a tripod right there. Cool. cool. Hold on. Let me give it. Let me give. I'll give. Him, sweet. Sorry. Stand I'm by as to, we we expand our audience. Not by much, but bringing in the hoodoo hoodoo crowd. I just got a fucking. Do a little measuring here. Ancient style everything. Ancient style measuring. I feel like we need more light so we can actually see what you're doing. Yeah, well, I'm going to spark. There's going to be a bunch of candles. Let's going. go back to light for a little bit. Okay. So we can actually okay. see as I pack my bowl. All right. I'm going to put this back for now. Daz just took off to get some sort of flower or something. I don't know. He's somebody flour somebody from just the arrived parents. that he called. Well, we're gonna he asked the for a delivery here. and it arrived. This salt, I'm going to give to uh, the holy water here. Cool. That's a lot of holy water. Why do we have so much? Bro, you got a bunch of holy water, man. Why You can always use holy water. Well, right? I'm just saying, well, is there a reason you have a giant I need pot? Or no, you I need it because she's brought me a giant pot. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I could use a sprinkle, but now you got a lot of holy water. Might as well throw it around the place. It's, I mean, it's good stuff. My my glass that was over there that you did for my last spell is empty now, and do I refill it with holy you, water? You, I would refill that with. Yeah, well, it yeah. got it got drank by the spirit. I would refill that with. Uh, you keep your science out of here, Caesar. <laughs> I would refill that with fresh water. This is salt water, so you don't want to give it to. Uh, you don't want to give it to. Uh, as an offering, you so could like just water. Yeah, you can wash the jar with the holy water, but yeah, holy water. Yeah, I could refresh. I need to refresh my success spell. Other things have been going all right. I, I gotta say, things are going all right. I mean that that was a hot work, right? So how I would refresh that? I'd burn a candle. I'll give you a candle. Burn a candle on top. But if you really want to kick it back up, you just take a pinch of black powder. Put that up on there. Fucking spark a cigar. Puff it real hot. Light the black powder with the cigar. 
It'll get going again. Okay. Okay. It'll, I mean, it'll really get going again. So yeah. Also on this stream, guys, I'm gonna let it go the entire time the ritual is going on because I want to record the whole thing. It might be like a three, three and a half hour stream. So if you're hanging out with us, fuck it. It's since it's been over an hour. Let me give away the last pack of seeds, and then we're just gonna do some OT time here when it kicks off. Like I guess IG whenever it decides to kick us off. But this will be OT, OT Dark Horse Live. But I'm gonna let uh, Hootie Moses finish his whole ritual, and I know at some point Daz might need to sneak off and get back to work because he's got to make this drop go live. But uh, yeah, hang out with us if you want to, and watch some watch some hoodoo time. go down. I'm just gonna drink some water now. I'm, I, I I gotta do it. It's you know I'm balancing I'm balancing the two worlds here, you know. Plus I'm waiting for Daz to come up here. I'm waiting for these coals to burn over so I can start putting some incense up. We're just getting started, you know. But yeah, man, we can get all seance circle in here, get everyone praying, fucking start prophesying. We want to get crazy. Maybe not on the live stream. I mean, I don't care. Yeah. Is it is it less effective live? Down the rabbit hole we go. So, so we've got it's it's studio guests that uh, we might be subjecting to. Uh, I don't know, opening up portals to their lives that they don't There's know about. The there is portals on the ceiling. They're back. They're yeah. back. Ooh. Dude, that shit is officially weird me out though. I'm not. Why is there two of them? <laughs> we only have one pot of water. Don't you know a bunch of stuff about lights from growing pot? Yeah, but get your science out of here right now because there's I mean, three of them if you really get in there. Try to touch them. Maybe we'll go to a different world. Let's say. Just stare into them. I mean, really, we got to, to get it right, we got to hotbox this place, but it's going to be too hot. I'm not going to tolerate that. I walked in here before we did this. And what I was do you like, mean hotbox it? Close to get the smoke built up in here, really. Oh, you're trying to, like, hotbox it. Hot yeah, but we're not going to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. No, please don't. Please don't, Bill. <laughs> I'm asking. I'm begging you to not to make me do it. We're like, I'm down for a cigar. Is it too early for a cigar? I'm going to get mine ready because i got to start blessing my work. And cigars? Crack that open. Yeah, finally. Finally, finally the housewarming cigars. This is cigars that you bought when I bought my house? Yep. <laughs> I hope you got a Bovita pack in there, bud. Yeah, yeah. Is that bad or good? Yeah, no, that's. I said I hope you do. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. You got a cutter? Well, this is no, I, uh, yeah, I cut those at the shop. Classy style. I'll cut it. Oh, you want All right, the, um, it? the herb for the ceremony. I'm going to recut it? Is that going to be mixed with the seeds directly? No, it's going to be mixed with frankincense and burnt. All right, cool, because I don't want there's some seed stock in here. Ah, I understand. You know? I understand. So, but... Supernatural energy mixed in with a couple other things. There's some chocolate in here, too? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, we got to see these chocolates. I want to show them. Hopefully, he's grabbing them. Daz put together his own custom mold chocolates that are going out with everybody, um, or every order, and they're like um, his logo in chocolate. Which, Dude, that's so over the top and unnecessary. That's awesome. That's to say, he, he it's an art. It's he a, is Mister Over the Top, but they love it. Talk about for the love of the game. It not. I mean, it's legit. Like, like seven items they're getting. I mean, I, I'm not going to talk about my deal with Daz, but I'm not doing this for the love of my. He's definitely like invested in this for oh, you. Oh, he guys. paid heavily. He paid heavily for this blessing. I'll just say that. I'll say like, he paid a princely sum. Of real money, real, real money, real princely. Yeah, like that's. Uh, so this is a real blessing. He's definitely invested he in this. Really, for you, guys. you know, there was a debt paid for this service. So that's a sacrifice. That's why they offered sacrifices up in the old days. This, there's, this is now more precious than if it was just like a thing. And it wasn't no like twenty, thirty bucks, bro. No, I'm not gonna say no, how much, but it wasn't no twenty, more, thirty more bucks. More than bro. a few packs of seeds. Yeah, certainly a lot. All right, I'll do this here. You see, I'm cutting the cigar. Shout out to Copus Designs. Copus Designs on IG if you like knives. If you're following me on Instagram, by the way, if you like knives, I got a bunch of knife guys. It's the Elvia. Shit, well, cheers to me buying a house, I guess. Yeah. A lot of celebrations tonight. The spirit's definitely here with yeah. us. Oh, Daz, let me see it. 
I'm gonna eat it. That's cool. Uh, here's right? the pack. I'll do like an I'll do an unboxing. Yeah, can we do an unboxing? Show yeah. everybody. Go so ahead. right here. I mean, if people are here watching, they should camera? see it. This, okay. Yeah, this is yeah, what you're gonna get, it, everybody. Oh, with this, it's the desk cam, right? Yeah, desk cam. Go with that cam. There's the. Uh, all this shit comes with what? happy a single, ghost, a single pack of seeds, sad is ghost, minimum, and surprised ghost. No minimum, just first come, first serve. Less supplies, less. All right. So this is yeah, this is what you get when you order. Oh, I love that. So are there different amounts of the different giveaways? I feel like yeah. there's more than fifty dollars worth of shit in that bag. Bro, hold on, hold up here, hold up here, hold up here. I thought I was just getting a chocolate bar. I mean, okay. some of them have two hundred dollars worth home. of shit in it. Oh, you got okay, tens so too. Fuck night owl pin. You're making me look real bad. You're making dark horse. This look like is shit. a yeah. awesome night owl appreciate sticker. Your customers, Everybody you know? needs to get the fuck off of my life. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> we hold look on, fucking we're not done yet though. Because this is another awesome night owl sticker, and these are really high quality stickers. This is a. Another Night Owl sticker that's definitely going to go on my kid's bike or something, and yeah, my wife's going to get mad at me about. Yeah, I got some glow-in-the-dark shirts for, uh, for them, too. Cool. Halloween <laughs> sticker. Metallic Halloween sticker. Clearly, the guy couldn't decide on designs because... No, I just wanted he, both. He just loves Halloween, yeah. It's like, I know the, the non-holographics bum, last a little bum, bit longer. Bum, 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 bum. Dude. It was like 20 slaps. Dude, these are not slaps. These are too good to be slaps. Hold. Yeah, high quality slaps. Yeah, like, no, these are like head stash stickers. These are these still go. Like I'm buying stickers right now. Still I going on the stickers. So I went through all that. This is a scratch off. Oh, here actually. we go. Scratch off lottery ticket. Scratch it off, bro. Hold on. Live scratch off. We'll do that. But look are at you this. A winner? Look at this. Those boxes. Yeah, look at that. Hold on. I can't tell you how much energy look effort and then. I'm gonna show you. It's not. It's it's like a a, a watch box. Look at that. Okay, boom. Now, hopefully my kids don't see this because they're going to be mad that I ate this. Boom. Look at that. Yeah, look at You can see his logo. Did you get a good chocolate logo? I didn't see. Let me see that. You see that shit? No, no, no chocolate for the international, unfortunately. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm going to take the plastic off because yeah. I'm going to eat it anyway. If I have some left over, I'll offer them up in a separate shipment to customs. You can't, you can't waste it. Right. See, look at that. It's ridiculous, dude. Who the look, fuck the, makes yeah. chocolates for their fucking I don't know if you guys can see the detail on seats. here, but it's the it's got the mummy wrap Daz on it. Daz does. In a fucking custom box that's better than my seed package. <laughs> <laughs> that was really, really good chocolate. Yeah, dude, I didn't... I'm, I'm not fucking around. I don't skimp on anything, honestly. Like, uh, if I can't afford to do it, I'm not going to do it. So that's the best chocolate I could buy. I mean... I no. had some other chocolate, too, I got to say. It's good chocolate. You can all agree... Hopefully it's not 100 degrees and everyone gets it non-melted. Well, yeah. It's cold out. We good. But yeah, I mean, this dude's got chocolates, got stickers. He's got fucking glow in the dark or yeah. UV fucking Switch. light thingy or whatever. Oh, dude, is that in my shit? No, no, my check kid? this. Check the packs out. You ever seen the packs yet? No, my kid's Secret loves agent shit. Shine it for me. I got chocolate on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> mm. see, see that genuine <laughs> reaction it's like that was a combination of the chocolate and the I am delighted by oh, you right gotta now have the decoder like ring, bro. if you don't have the decoder ring then you're, you're and, not uh, ever going to know smell the bag see if there's a, a note of pumpkin spice on there as well no way I've been uh, doing some aromatherapy in the no. not that one no the actual <laughs> goodie bag bag mm. right. oh he turned his he turned his grow into a fucking Pumpkin Spice Laboratory to scent no. his bags. No. Well, I mean, I'm trying. I don't know if it's working or not. Who the fuck does that? Daz I like does. the full experience, you know? It's like the weed. The weed's got to be completely there. Like, the genetics are the first part. People fell in love with that, so... Uh, I, I don't know. I feel Dude. like this is my way of kind of giving That's back. That's the thing. It's, it's not even $50 a, a pack? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's three Bro. seeds, but there may actually be somehow necessarily two extra right. seeds in there that appear with your... They explain meth math for if, everybody. If you order direct, Mephisto and I both give direct or give extra seeds. So if you order from MephistoGenetics.com or if you order from the Seed Bazaar, which is my home site, then either way you'll get extra seeds in the pack. If you order from retailers, you won't. And that's what it is. Sometimes you do, but don't count on it. You want to scratch off the scratch off? I do. I, I do. Hold on. I mean, I'm tempted to know if you won. And what you want? What are the, what are the options? Twenty five dollars off, fifty dollars off, or two hundred. The real off. question is what I'm going to scratch it off with. 
Mm. Yeah, you probably have some Didn't fancy hoodoo coin. Mention some gold in your pocket at one point. I do have a gold two piss. I might coin. be lucky. I also have silver mercury dimes. Well, if we're gonna gamble. Yeah, why do oh, you yeah, do the thing. meth math or why? Yeah, as a way of saying thank you for coming direct and, direct, and supporting yeah. us directly. I mean, I get that, but like, why don't why do you say three and then give them five? Why don't you just say five? Hmm. Is you just you trying to make them surprised and happy always? Yeah, yeah. I'd rather um, have that than I expect. You know, the other thing is, I think my seeds are are worth fifty dollars for three seeds, a hundred percent, like without question. So when the retailers sell them for that, like that's what I think they're truly worth. But people that come direct, I feel that's a way to say thank you, and you know, I'm not giving half right off the top to somebody that didn't spend years of energy effort their life producing making these things so totally and when you consider you know what you would make i don't want to really talk dollars and cents but like you know what you'd make off these plants be it you know a cannabis that you may smoke or cannabis that you would not necessarily say sell but whatever it's like is it worth 50 fucking dollars to you i would think absolutely right fair you know right, potentially so. a pound if not more what do you think is a fair estimate to say you get on th or three three seeds five seeds let's do five seeds if someone started five seeds i mean total ballpark ballpark in here but 10 to 12 ounces on on a beginner average somewhere around there maybe yeah. two three ounces of plants, depending on how they're growing and i got some drama over here you guys oh yeah uh, what's going on Oh, he's I got, scratching. Let's I see, got let's, two mummies. Let's see. Show the people your scratch. So I'm not a thorough scratcher, just so you guys know. Okay. Uh -huh. he's, so he's scratching. He's got mummies underneath the I scratcher. I need three mummies to get. got a witch. It. You need three mummies for what? Mummies for what? If I get three mummies, I get 25% off. Okay. Or $25 off, excuse me. So that's got, like half off. You've got two? That is half I've got off. two. I got two. And then, really, if I'm just spending 25 bucks, even if I got no seeds and I got this pack of stickers... And the chocolate, I'd be like, that's absolutely worth twenty five bucks. Well, then my goal hands is down, it, probably thirty five bucks. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many stickers is this, man? I don't know. And <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The dude just gave you thirty seven stickers. I think it's a bar out. of chocolate, a fucking decoder hold, ring, no, seriously, a hold fucking on, hold on, hold hat. On, Did you show him the hat pin? There's a hat pin too. Yeah, what the fuck is this one, shit? Look at this. Is a high quality ass hat pin. That's like two, five or six dollars. Like four, five or six. Are you just losing? For 10 to 15. That's like 10 or 15. Are you losing seven, money on this shit? Eight. Yeah. yeah. Nine. People that buy one pack. Ten. Yeah. <laughs> People that buy one uh, pack, Dad loses money. 11 stickers. I mean, yeah. Which, again, these are easily, we're going to say on the low side, $3. It's 35 bucks in stickers right here. So, and 11, I'd say, is on the low side of the stickers, too. I think somewhere as high as 20, something like that. So, bro. Yeah. All right. I'm going to finish this scratch off because now you got me excited. I'm right. excited. Jack o' lantern. I'm excited. No dice. Okay, no jack o' lantern. Uh, 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 owl, owl. Nope. This I is my last say, chance. I did see this once I mean, before. This they're all off. owls, so it's just different variations of the owl. Yeah, they're all owls. Mummy! It's a mummy, it's you guys. A it's a mummy. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Big winner. That was genuine excitement, Big right winner. there. Big winner. Hell yeah. There you go. I'm Thank, glad you got a winner. Thanks, Mercury. What's your super soil mix, bro? Super soil mix. So I'm, I'm, I'm. I just don't have the time. To do that anymore uh, the same way I used to so um, I think I'm gonna put the recipe out get it printed out on a Christmas card and send it out this year and everybody that you know bought seeds this year will get the super soil recipe if they want to make it or share it however they make it something like that but if not I'll put it up New Year's super soil mix. had a personal question over there no, so question in the chat. since I just like I got the scratch off but right but um Mm -hmm. Can I give it away? Can I give, can I give that away to someone Crazies. who's watching? Uh, yeah, if you want, sure. Transfer it, like yeah. someone, someone in the audience, Hulk. Yeah. Someone, can someone help me? You want to win this shit? Facilitate that. So what's I going on? You'll have that to shit. send hold up. it to them. Hold up, hold up. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> give it to the host of the show. I'm not gonna send it to anybody. There you go. I'm, you I'm gonna this? focus on what I'm here to do, if my you friend. Want I'm this. a professional. Twenty-five percent off. What is it? Twenty-five percent. Twenty-five bucks off. Twenty-five bucks off. Winner? A $50. Dude, you get fucking How 100 stickers this? and chocolate. Well, well, while supplies last on the drop tonight and tomorrow, or tonight and the 10th, tonight for premium. It's so it'll just be like a credit on their account, basically. Just know it's How free. are we going to do that? So how it works is they get that in the mail, and then they have to physically return it to me. 
So yeah, you got to send it in with your next drop or with your next purchase. Right. I like the interactivity. I got, dude. I got so many letters. It was amazing. I was like, I never got mail. I got files on so many motherfuckers. This dude sends out Christmas cards, bro. I just heard he's sending out a soil recipe. I I hear everything. Nothing's going on that I'm not paying attention to. Dude, I've got the best growers in the world supporting me. It's amazing. Like I, I love it. They're my family for real. Oh, shit. Like, and I'm as distant with them as I am really with my family. So there you go. All right. So <laughs> on this note, I gotta I gotta add my my audience in here. I got the tripod. Cool. I'll give this away real quick. Free shit. Email darkhorsesdetectivelive at gmail dot com if you want to win that fucking scratch off. Uh, you gotta write scratch off in the subject line, and I'll give it to the twentieth person. Twentieth person to email me. To get this shit, I'll send it to you. Well, I'll be you able can to use it on the next drop or next future Daz night owl purchase. I guess I can do it with this. Change the angle. Since we're you. on the it's free screen, we might as well give away one more pack of Dark Horse. And one more pack of Night Owl. Should I give away something? I shouldn't give away something. Not you have something time. to give away? Give it away. I can't I mean, read that very well, but that says Kemlim. Very rare pack. Kemlim, six pack. Kemlim. Yeah, wow, remember that from back in the that's day? That's fucking old school. Hoodoo Moses used to work for me at one point. Everybody. There's a reason that, that, that you know, I was sought out. But, uh, yeah, if you want to win this, you've got to write at the same email, live at gmail.com. In the subject line, Hoodoo Moses. Who do Moses? Will this turn? Will this let me go vertical? Or I have to go horizontal? I think you can turn it somehow. I'm feeling pretty guilty about that family line. That was just a joke, guys. <laughs> that, was just, that was just a joke family. <laughs> this is like three minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like if I try to stretch it out, it's going to rip your rip your holder. Can I, I don't know how here. it works. I'll figure What's it your out. other one that you wanted to give away, Daz? These are the secret ones now? Uh, OGs, and the other one is Galaxy Brain. Yeah, something old, something new. So Next time it'll be something borrowed and something blue. A couple of Daz packs. If you want to win these Daz packs... What do we gotta do to win them? Um, I'm gonna put you on this. It's free. Hold on a minute. I really want you to be up there on this pitch. No, I'm sideways. This Number out, leprechaun. Right. Leprechaun. leprechaun at Dark Horse. Free shit. Gmail. Leprechaun. Yahoo. Did uh, you ask what they need to send in? Yeah, it's right there at the bottom of the screen. Dark Horse next live at gmail dot com. Yep. But go ahead and give me your best like trucker voice. You know, I'll I'll, I'll let you up with this. Why are you doing a trucker voice? Me. I missed something. Yeah. It's it's free. Free. What's right. the code word? Oh, I thought I was doing it. It's free. Um, leprechaun. Leprechaun. Oh, fuck. I fucked this up, man. Leprechaun is the code good. word. I'm still back in, in the first episode. <laughs> free <laughs> shit email. Dark Horse Genetics Live. <laughs> leprechaun. Like, Subject line right now. I haven't been here every episode, but yeah. You can tell you've gotten too good. <laughs> um, what's the, What number do you want to take? Pick a number. Um... Three. Uh, way more than that. They're probably already, 311. There's probably already 30 in there right now already. 33. I'm sorry. 33. 33. Okay, yeah, 33rd person will win uh, the Night Owl packs. That writes Leprechaun. All right. Is, this is only on his Instagram, right? If I'm going to tag someone, I'll tag him? Yeah, yeah. yeah. At Dark Horse I guess Genetics. I could be doing my first ever live stream, but... Yeah, you know. No reason to, no reason to pop that cherry tonight. Wait, we're, you we're, we're never on a live stream? No, never. Well... All right, so the candle's completely melted. What's your is that part of the plan? Yeah, we're kind of warming it up. Is the idea? Okay. What is your handle? It's at Night Owl uh, Genetics. Uh, Daz D A Z. Uh huh. Period. Uh -huh. Mephisto M E P H I S T O. It is getting a little hot boxy in here, though. Well, that's cool. Um, if you don't, if you all wondering why the fuck we're doing all this, if you're just tuning in, uh, Daz Night Owl. Drop starts in two hours and seven minutes. Oh, Tickers yeah. in the right hand screen. You got an idea, a second idea? Or are we sticking with, with the uh, Shanaika? Shekina. So Shekina? that's where it's tricky. Yeah. So keep Shekina thinking... is how you would probably have to. Shekina. S H E K I N A H. I like it. Shekina. So that's the name of this yeah. strain. This strain is unnamed as of this point. Yeah, well, it's we still just, not listed on Seed Bazaar Premium as sold out yet. There's one more strain to come. Yep. Is there a lot of these? I feel like people are going to want these because we went through yeah, quite how many an ordeal. See, there's a these. bunch. There's a bunch. Uh, there's more than this little bullhorn's worth. Yeah, I mean, maybe if I scrape it all together, maybe 400 packs somewhere in there. All right. Cool. My people are, are but, checking me out on Instagram right now. So I'm just going to take a moment and say, guys, if you want to hear all the music and everything, you can check it out on Dark Horse Genetics. I'm live in studio with these guys. Some 
cannabis buddies of mine. It's so weird, the crossing of worlds from my end, right? The very small audience that's all tuning in. But I'm here in studio. We're going to bless these cannabis seeds in here, and I'll be showing the working. I thought you guys might want to catch that. Um, but otherwise, these guys are going to be talking a lot about weed nerd stuff. Which yeah, is, totally. Which is Tell them to go to darkhorse.live if they want to really see Is that best, it? That's yeah, the URL? The, the URL is darkhorse.live. Uh, I'll pin it right here in the yeah. chat. Hold on. It's probably, that way you can see a widescreen. Yeah, if they go to my yeah, live, yeah, it'll yeah. be kind of just elbows and asses. Cool, cool, cool. Watch live. I am weirded out that my IG live is still live after like yeah. an hour and a half, but... That's cool. Did you get an update recently? I don't know what's going on. I guess IG stream? lets me go long. How many? Did, maybe you hit like a new follower benchmark. Maybe Dark Horse Live doesn't need to be an hour. Maybe we can just fucking go so anytime. It's, we it's want, just Dark Live is the URL. Yep. Oh, video pause reconnecting. Let me type. Come on. <sighs> Spirits all crazy right now. Dark Horse Live post stoned posted. ninja stoned in the ninja. Comments. He's in the goddamn chat. Welcome, Stone Ninja. Hey, buddy. Okay. Cool. I'll put it like this. Put it fur further back. Ninja, we're doing some hoodoo shit in here, bro. It's What's about up, Ninja? to get. It's about to get uh, real. Dude, I haven't seen Ninja since the Grand Prix, man. He came in thinking it was hood rat shit. It was red. Shit. <laughs> it happens. It's, it, sometimes it's both. Guarantee, there's fire to be had. Fire and knives is a for sure. Smoking inside, fire and knives, overproof rum. These these come with the territory. All right, I gotta I gotta zone out and prep some stuff. Should I crack some doors for airflow? Oh, I like this cloud. No, okay, this is okay. what we need. This is what we need, Daz. Here we go. This this is the weed. This is the parent, right? That I have in this bag. Uh, it's it's uh, amalgamation or um, homogenization of of a bunch of different ones, including the parent. Okay. So cool. Take Perfect. Take a handful. Take as much as you need. But yes, yeah, so that's that's a little bit of everything in there that's been mixed together. I'm just going to sit back and watch. I want to see a little hoodoo action. Oh, okay, we got ganja going in the charcoals. I mean, this is this is old school. You know, they, they excavated King Solomon's temple, um, like, recently, this year. Like, new altars. And they found that, indeed, there's, like, frankincense and everything they expected. And tons of hash. Yeah. Nice. Tons of hash yeah. on the altars with that. Hell yeah. You know, they go together. It's It's peanut butter and jelly, baby. Is that a sound effect siren, or is that real no, that's life? real life. Okay. Real ting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, mm. they, they knew the fire was coming. Yeah, they might uh, be headed this way because the smoke pouring out of the studio. No, uh, no. Nah, nah. I have a long reputation of smoking out buildings. and We have had the fire department called on us one time in, awesome. in uh, Boston. Yeah. We were smoking so much outside. We had Strega dinner, my favorite restaurant. Shout out to Strega. Mm. And, uh, Strega means witch in Italian. Uh, does it? Yes, oh, sir. Yeah. That's, That's why I like it so I got a Strega comment for you after we're done. But yeah, yeah after sure. after we ate that, it was a bunch of the boys went up to this little park bench and we smoked like a giant sesh. Everyone had big old fat doinks and whatever. And the somebody that lives there, I'm pretty sure, rather than call the cops, which I appreciate, decided to call the fire department because there was a huge cloud of smoke coming up. And, That's uh, funny. The fire department came in force. There's a whole truck. So everybody came flying in, and we were all sitting there, standing there in a giant circle, like, uh, <laughs> "All right, just smoking jays." Epic sesh, guys. Epic <laughs> sesh. <laughs> all but, right, uh, fishing was there. I shout need out a, Leo. I need an inkwell. Oh, hey, shout out to those guys. Uh, yeah. Who else was there? Dark Horse was there. Was Night Owl there? Were you there that night? Where? No, no, no. Uh, Caesar was so. there. Th Caesar was there. I might have left early. That was the night. Yeah, yeah I first met you. I think that weekend. That was when that shit happened. On yeah. Okay. Yeah, BK was there, I believe. Was Stone Ninja there? A lot of guys are there. We had a huge circle, and uh, yeah, it was kind of hilarious. But okay, what else did we add to the mix here? We're cooking up a stew of. So this is just ink. This is the the you know whatever. Ink. Black ink. What's the traditional what is scribal the, ink? The shit melting on top right now. What the? Oh, this oh, over here. Yeah. Cool. This is frankincense. Okay, you're melting frankincense. Gotcha. Yeah. So for my stream, I'll show you. This is frankincense and and weed from the parent of, mm -hmm. right? That you took the seeds out of, right? Yeah. yeah so There's probably some seeds in there still. Yeah. Some little immature ones. Okay. So now I'm gonna zone out and focus on what I gotta do here. So. Time you know. calligraphy time. Yeah. All right. My man's gotta do some calligraphy. Dude, thank you for inviting me on. This is like. So much more relaxing. I was, I was I stressing do. out earlier. Like, God damn, he posted that, said I'm going to be on. Like, Am I going to be on? I don't even know. I've got so much to do. Yeah, Daz gets anxiety pre drop every time I yeah. think he comes to me or whatever and kind of has a mental freak out about, like, is it going to go well? Is it yeah. going to go well? Yet it sells out in 20 minutes every fucking time. 
So I don't know. But it's good to stay humble, right? I mean, the guy's always nervous that, I don't know, he didn't do enough or something. Maybe that's why you overachieve yeah. so fucking much with all of this shit because you don't feel like you're given enough, but you're clearly given enough. You got like the best autos in the game, and then you turn around and you're like, here's 37 stickers, a scratch off lottery ticket, a bar of chocolate, a keychain, and a hat pin. Please like me. <laughs> please, please like me. <laughs> yep, pretty but much. But they do like you. And I don't think it's the swag. I think the common guy would say, oh, he's fucking, his seeds are shit. He's over fucking doing it with the swag no, or whatever. I make sure that's on point first and foremost every time. It, what, what, who's the best in the game that also has the most swag? Usually it's the other way around. It's the guys that pass out the most free shit. No, that's stickers, Floyd Mayweather shit, dude. Floyd I mean, was the best and threw out the money. And that's epic level shit. Legendary shit. Okay, okay. Touche. I'm with you there. I say it is legendary shit. It's like, to me, I'm saying this dude's blazing a trail that no one has blazed before. Because I would say nobody really does shit like this. Yeah, you're the Floyd Mayweather of weed, is what I'm saying. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate that. But I would say every That's a good year, thing, right, Bill? You're the fight expert. Yeah, you got wrestling on there. I was gonna say every year, I kind of personally crown like a winner of the year between breeders or whatever. And I was gonna say I, I think we might have to give it to Daz this year. Stop. Night Owl might have won Stop. 2020. It's a fucked up year. Right. But you might have won it. Win, you know what I mean? Yeah. Up, hey. Too kind, really. I appreciate that. We'll see how this goes. It's like, wait, let's let's see how this goes first. What happens next drop when you feel like you have to give them th like thirty eight stickers now, or can you just sell them a pack of seeds now, or do you feel well, like the Halloween's? I mean, the big one for me, you know, like that's that's the one yeah, I I've like always that. have wanted to, and since I've started Night Owl, that's the one that I've gone hard for. So, don't expect this all the time. Like I said, my my next drop wasn't planned until Valentine's Day, but Again, I'm. I mean, we're gonna be pushing it, especially like I said, with the cash orders coming in. Like, ah, uh, pay credit card. It'll it'll save me two weeks additional time in Colorado. But yeah, um, I don't know. I might might. You're might also be a bit later. Kind of clearing out some of your stocks to make your move a little easier. I think. Oh so yeah, yeah, definitely. It's like, hey, everybody, take of... all the stickers. I gotta take all the stuff. You... What other merch do you have that you may not have dumped? You still have merch? You have masks left, or you have I've got those? Got a couple uh, of masks left. I've got a couple. Auto of hammer flats or hats. I mean, yeah, you have I've any got those? a couple of the hats left. I've got a couple of hoodies, a couple of shirts. A couple you plan of on putting any of that shirts. stuff up for sale? Or are you gonna? What's the plan with that stuff? <laughs> Uh, Not right now. It's too busy because you obviously have a fucking hundred orders or whatever, 500 orders you're going to have to get through. Not right so. now. Yeah, I want to keep this as simple as possible. I'm flying the best in the biz. Blue the siren out to help along with my buddy. Shout Ian. out to Blue. When did she get out here? Uh, Friday. I hit her up. I was like, I didn't fuck up and you're not coming in tomorrow, right? She's like, no, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, she's coming in Friday. Nice. And yeah, I just wanted to make it as get here Friday? streamlined as possible. 11 a.m.? Nice. Yeah, Ninja's gonna. I'm sure he loves me for that. A nice eight o'clock airport trip. Yeah, shout out to Ninja again. Yeah. Oh, uh, hold on. One other thing. Strega. How many times have you been there? Six, seven. Have you ever had a Dole Whip pineapple dessert? From Strega? Yeah. No. Uh, okay, so this is a Stone Ninja. I'm about like to get the house pissed husband. off. Bro, exactly. I heard him talking the about other to get night. Real pissed it's off. Like, bro, how many I... times have we gone there? And now on your stream, you talk about this. You, you didn't think I was in the room, so you start bro. talking about the Dole Whip. The shit is Come on. Bro. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, we've been slighted. Right. right? No. Nah, shout out to Strega. Like, right, I haven't been to Hawaii. Bankers. I haven't been to Strega. Fucking pineapple Pine. Dole Whip. <laughs> 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 What'd you say? Asking how to get hats and masks. Oh, they're asking how to get the hats and masks. Like you said, I think he's, we're going to focus on, I'll speak for him, but I think he's going to focus on this drop because he's going to have a fuck ton of orders coming up in the next 48 hours or whatever. Yeah. Or, or like four or five days. And then uh, I assume he'll list it up and get it gone here, probably on the Sea Bazaar, wherever he wants to sell it. Um, I'll talk to Blue when she gets here, and if she feels like dealing with it, uh, I'll, I'll throw him up on the site, on the regular side, whatever I have left over. If not, like I said, we're trying to keep this as streamlined as possible. There's, I mean, you saw the moving parts there, plus the additional yeah. UV keychains, packs, tissue paper, all the other, all the other stuff that you know traditionally accompanies a night owl drop. So, um, if not this time, give me until I'm settled in, in Maine, and then I'll, I'll throw them up there. But yeah, I've got them. I was just gonna keep, I don't know, a couple of each size just for my own personal sentimental value, you know. But gotcha. I don't wear every size, and <laughs> I always yeah. hold a few back too. I yeah. just do. Um, I like 
to like catalog from going to the the shop at the mall to have t-shirts first printed to like going to multiple different custom screen printers to see who made the best ones and figuring out sure. who I'm going to stick with from here on out and just you know the different different um evolutions of it let's talk uh, about tips and tricks to get these um these drops obviously c bizarre premium is a good idea for you know trying to get it 48 hours early there's a good chance you're going to score something there but um talk about shopping cart issues potentially talk about money orders in the mail and your preference payment types i think there's a bitcoin's acceptable i'm not sure if you take bitcoin or not i do i don't know where they go though Oh, okay, yeah. you do? You'll get your seeds, but... I'll no, it goes to my, my account, Bitcoin. then. Yeah, I oh, know yeah? what you're talking about. Okay, we cool. got to sort that out. I, <laughs> maybe I, if you paid in Bitcoin... Which then goes into my gambling account at Bavadia. So, oh, uh, nice. Well, so If you've been funding Daz through Bitcoin, you've secretly been funding my gambling addiction. Because <laughs> I thought that Bitcoin was just coming from the sky. Yeah, no, let's <laughs> keep it like that. No, thank you so much for putting me on. That's the least oh, I can do. Shit. Pay Bitcoin. Everybody pay Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, all right. First, I think was the the checkout, the the shopping cart. The shopping cart on the Seed Bazaar does not reserve the packs. If you add a pack to it, it is not reserved. Somebody can go and buy that pack if you do not check out quick enough. So like I said, you guys are here in the chat. If you're after Space Station Orange version 2, that's that's what there's the least of, just straight up. So grab that first and then go go back and check out again. Also... Sign in beforehand so you're logged in, so all your information's logged in, and that way you can just check out. You don't have to sit there and type it all in. Baking multiple orders, I'll combine them after the fact, and you'll get them all together. So it's not going to be a delay in shipping or anything like that. It's just unfortunately, that's the way the, the shopping cart on the Seed Bazaar is set up. Nothing we can do about it. We've tried. Um, so I can speak to that real quick. So basically what he's saying is purchase them one by one quickly as you can. Seeing how it's free shipping anyway, it doesn't cost you any more. It's not it, you're gonna have a lot of order n numbers, but it kind of sucks that way. But the reason we had to do that is we use a shipping. I'll even tell you, but we use a shipping account called e or a platform called ECWID, and like it just doesn't hold shit in the shopping cart for people. I looked into getting a shopping cart like that that can hold you know your products for ten minutes, like a like a Ticketmaster type of thing, and uh, they were like fifty thousand dollars minimum for a custom built website that has a you know. A custom hold shopping cart or whatever. And so. I tried to push him to do it, but <laughs> it's just not in the Sea Bazaar's budget being that it doesn't really make any money. Um, <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, that's the reason why you have to do it that way. But if you do it quickly, like like Daz said, you can he'll combine all of them together in one order. They'll go out in one box. You're not going to get seven boxes at your house, and um, it's just the the fastest, most secure way to do it. I don't think it's like super hot in the sense that you have to. You might be able to get them all in the shopping cart real quick and then just purchase buy. But at the don't, same time, don't that's risk it it's a risky the, the it's Space a gamble. Station Orange. Yeah, and if you're saying Space say Station Orange is going to sell it, so you might want to do that. And what we're talking about, again, in the upper... Oh, it's over It's over your head, Daz. Point to your left. Display like Vanna White. There you go. Right there. He's pointing to it. Night Owl Drop starts in one hour, 53 minutes. Uh, that's Seabazaar Premium. If you need to get premium, you don't know what the fuck premium is, um, go to seabazaar.com. Sign up for premium. It costs like ten bucks. I have no problem if you sign up and cancel that shit. It doesn't matter. Like sign up, cancel it right away. You still have thirty days, so you're still gonna be able to take part in this. If it's a reoccurring subscription thing, so if you're not about it, just sign up, cancel, and then you still have thirty days. No big deal. You ain't gonna hurt my feelings. Yeah, and thank you guys to everybody that did sign up because that supports the Seed Bazaar in a way that <clears throat> Jay will not let me. So thank you guys for for doing that. I tried to give him give him some shekels here and there and he just says no so i appreciate you guys following along and hopefully this helps kind of uh lessen the tension around drops and and you know they're there for the people that want them and for the people that don't they'll be there soon also if you miss anything on this premium drop there's always a second chance now so i say the next drop will be on the 10th technically yep. And uh, are you are you going to release everything on premium, or is there you going to hold some stuff out so on the tenth the people Stock that don't want to? Uh, yeah, I'm going to hold hold, hold stuff a little back bit back. For sure, I mean, so yeah, way. we're not forcing you to go behind a paywall right, to buy the seats. Right, that's the last thing I want to do. Mm -hmm. I want to make it available for them, and it's almost I'm looking at it like one time I did a drop at midnight, and then I woke up and was blown away that everything was sold out. So I put the rest of what I had of that stock up, and it was like a, a kind of tiered stock or a tiered um drop, and everybody seemed to really like that and. Mm -hmm. So like maybe, I don't know, I kind of like the way you're mm -hmm. doing it with the 48 hours. I think, I don't know, maybe 24 hours I might prefer, but 
We'll see how it goes. This is my first it time. It may doing sell it, out. That's know? the thing. There's no guarantees the stuff that the limited stock that you put on premium is not going to sell out either. Right. And then there'll be more stock on the tenth. Right. So it's not it's not a guarantee that your premium that you're going to get everything you want. You know. I'm sure I'm going to get many of those emails. Be like, I signed up premium and I didn't get the fuck I want. But at the same time, you know, there's a shot at getting it 48 hours early. Mm -hmm. And if you're up with us and you're counting down the minutes like us, then you know you're going to get what you want. Is Ninja in the chat over there? I Did think he Ninja's around. Confirm that Dole Whip story, or was I hallucinating? Confirm or deny? No, I, mean, I remember that. You what? You you had it too? I remember that. Okay. Wait, you had Dole Whip? That's not the question. No, he oh. remembers the pain of being left out in the cold, of having no yeah. no Dole Whip. No Dole Whip. Certainly was a pain. <laughs> the no Dole Whip crew. So yeah. Also, anybody, if you want to throw up Seed Apple again. If any of those companies we listed on there actually want to throw in the prizes, so we don't have to buy them, that would be that would be awesome too. But we as may. of now, it's all all Jay and I. Let's so, say yeah, we may have uh, used some of our friends in hopes that they might give us some free shit. But yeah, here's the Seedopoly again, folks. If you don't know what this is, the game boards are going to start shipping with this drop from Naz, from Daz, from Daz, and um, yeah, everybody. W that gets this, but then you can then start acquiring game pieces. And uh, good luck to everybody. You acquire the game pieces, you win uh, the prizes. What sorry, you... um, I was just reading Buzz and Bean and just said that the restaurant oh. only makes a dole whip for him and Mike. Psh, I call bullshit. Is, huh? I call that's bullshit. That's how the fuck it is. I call bullshit. Uh, there's another one. Dan, Dan Man 6. <clears throat> All right. If you spend 100 in one order and 150 in another... As long as it's not a week apart, you know what I mean? Like, if you're in there getting the Space Station Orange first and then maybe the Judy Gemstone hint, hint second or something like that, and then going back for another, of course, absolutely. But if you place an order on the 8th and then again on the 17th, like, I I've probably already shipped the first, but yeah. So that's that's where I'm at with that, if that makes sense. Sure. Now like you say he brings in a small army to handle the shipping, too, because it's quite a quite an ordeal so i stay in the trenches myself but yeah. yeah i have to bring in help i mean he barely fucking sleeps for a week pretty much when the orders come through so i mean you well go ahead i would say yeah yeah give him time but at the same time just know that you know he's doing it as fast as he can there's a fuck ton of orders you know yeah I mean? and and because you ordered at 1202 a lot of other people did too. So yeah, I'm fucking up over here. I don't give a shit. Floor. So like, <clears throat> it, it really does come down to the seconds of the orders, even as far as like uh, 10 seconds worth of orders might take me two days because there's so many orders in that time period. You know what I mean? Sure. So even though like you did everything right and you got in 1201, <clears throat> still there's a bunch of orders that have already taken place. And, and yeah, I'm, I, I, I promise you I'm doing everything in my power to get them out as fast as possible. I promise. <laughs> Lossing off the calligraphy. Where are we at now? In oh, the... hold on. Let's switch back to the camera so we can oh, see yeah. that. Yeah. My bad. Oh, yeah. You guys are on camera. Give me one second. Yeah. Get my shit together. So, yeah. Seed Apple 2021, January is when that's starting. We got that. All right. Is calligraphy? Yeah. Just did it. I don't know. I was off camera. I did it. I did it here. Wait, you got to tell us when we need to be on camera for sure. Okay. I don't no, want to miss any of the magic. I did it, I did it with, a, with, a, with a feather, you know, so it's not... When I do it with a marker on the horn, it's going to be a lot cleaner. Beautiful. So. Yeah, thank you again for the gifts, too. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, also, yeah, good question to the chat. I did... If you did catch it on that flyer, uh, we're going to do two game pieces for everybody who orders on the premium side. All the more reason to stay premium. I also have an idea for premium that I think we're going to start doing to continue the Monopoly theme. Um, I don't know exactly what you'd call it. What would you call it, Udu Moses? You're the one that kind of turned me on to I'd it. I'd call that a weekly game, weekly tour around the board. Weekly know. weekly tour around the board. So the idea is you're going to, as a as a premium member, I'm going to give you a, a roll around the board. And, uh, yeah, you're going to land on pr on game pieces or on, pr on property pr uh, spots, and they're going to hold seed packs. And um, as you make your way around the board, you uh, have chances at winning two, three, four, up to four packs in your trip around the board. Nice. So uh, I, it's still a concept in my head. I'm going to roll it out. I haven't, it's not immediately, but there's more coming to Seed Bazaar Premium than 
just a 48 hour uh, previews to stuff. I'm going to try to make some cool, cool benefits to being a part of the premium club. Uh, it feels like you're trying to jack my swagger a little bit there. Jack your swagger? Yeah. yeah. On I'm kind of the make people feel good about themselves. Uh, Dude, yeah. I am I'm just going to give them more and more and more. This obsession with providing more value. This mm-hmm. is this is. Ah. Uh, so yeah, I'm, okay, I'm, that's why you guys are my people. Apparently, I'm going to have to give out 37 stickers a month to everybody on premium here. Just I mean, that's catching up. You should do 60. Honestly. You should do 60. <laughs> <laughs> just catching up. You need to make up for lost time. I'm competitive. It, yeah, if you challenge me. I'm going to blow my whole budget on stickers this year. <laughs> so I'm just getting the incense going heavy here. We're, of course, mixing the, for folks just tuning in, this is frankincense that was carried from Somalia, I want to say, for me. Super fine. Now, I noticed on the last batch that you did there, that actually smells like hash. Yeah, it's because, you know, it's resin. It's tree resin, which is part of the hash. You smell that waxiness. And then... Uh, yeah, BK's over here said it smells like hash a little bit. It definitely smells like hash in here. It's great. It's great. It's the weed and, and uh, you know, some of the seeds, hopefully, and some frankincense. Just getting a righteous cloud going on in here. Mm-hmm. And I got the, uh, you know, the calligraphy done once. So this, I'm going to do something else on the back. I'm going to cut it out of this lambskin. This is what's going to get burnt and mixed with all the seeds. Okay. And then I'm also going to... Use a marker and do it on the horn. You're gonna pack everything in here, mm-hmm. and then this is something you'll be able to hang in your garden, you know, wherever you're breeding tents, something yeah, like that. Yeah, definitely. Okay, you're gonna be left with artifacts. Mm, that's what I was saying. Thank you for the gifts. I appreciate that. <laughs> I also <clears throat> would love to acquire one of your um, coyotes' teeth. Is that what it is? Oh yeah, man. Shit. I wish you would have told me. I they definitely were like right right there, yeah. right within arm's reach. Put it in the pussy candle. <laughs> you don't <laughs> you don't want to combine those two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now thirty three letters from victory here for, on my end. I just gotta focus. So I'll, I'm checking back out, you guys. I'm, if you guys want to see me do the calligraphy, that's on my Instagram at Hoodoo Moses. Um, for those watching on my Instagram, I'm going to come right back. If you want to see this whole big spog, mishigas, as we would say in Yiddish. Uh, I'm getting mishigana. Uh, you would check out, uh, what is it, just darkhorse.live? Yeah, yeah. HTTP yeah. darkhorse.live. Jason's taking bong rips of the cigar or something. I forgot I was smoking a cigar. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> ripped that like it was something else. Bro, I go just back see you ash in that thing in common like <laughs> <laughs> it might be a fun little tidbit to go back like seven minutes or so for the third time my ash fell on the floor and Jay was like what the fuck is going on here take an ashtray you heathen <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> eyes are water <laughs> yeah don't inhale cigars dudes yeah oh shit and I had that little one. I was wondering how many people thought it was a blunt. So now they'd be like, oh, he doesn't even inhale. Oh, well, happy house buying. Yeah, bro, congratulations. <laughs> that was a nice little Clint Eastwood cigar there. <laughs> I figured you'd take the foil one. The foil one? Oh, no. No, I was, I was eyeing up that one or the one you had, and I wanted to try that one. Uh, that was nice. I like that. that. Was Is there any significance to the words you're writing? Can you explain what you're writing? <laughs> is that jibber jabber or? <laughs> <laughs> there is. There is significance to the words I'm writing. It takes a lot of focus to do the writing part. <laughs> Sorry, oh, but shit. like, yeah. <laughs> like you just bullshit your way through this or? <laughs> no, yeah. What's the, what's the words mean? So if you go is to. Is there an English translation of what you're doing? Indeed. Indeed. Here we go. So, uh. <laughs> Oh, shit. So song, I was looking for, when, I, when Daz said, you know, do this, decided to put together a little ritual specifically for this. So I was looking for uh, a verse in scripture. I really like working with the Psalms. Uh, so Psalms 107, verse 37 says, And they sowed fields and planted vineyards. 
that yielded a fruitful harvest. Beautiful. And I was like, sweet, perfect. fucking perfect, right? So there's a thing in, in, in like a Kabbalistic understanding of the Hebrew scripture that any verse that's divisible by exactly three, like the, if you count the number of letters and that's divisible by three, mm -hmm. then all of those are holy names, right? So I was like, well, this is a really good verse. It's probably not going to work out, right? So I count it, exactly 33 letters. And that's good stuff. Okay, so we got 11 bunches of three, which is what I wrote on the And 311 is my here. favorite band, side note. So, so they're three. <laughs> this could not be any better. Okay. So then I said Sorry. 33, that's really ringing a bell in terms of Kabbalah. And indeed, when I looked it up, there is a, a 33 letter name of God, like a super holy name of God that combines, I want to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different names of God. And that's 33 letters exactly also. So that's what I'm about to write. So, okay. Yeah, so it means something, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. It certainly means something. I'd say it means yeah. something, only super God. I mean, that was exactly what I was looking for. Like, <laughs> no, that, I, I knew that was... Got, I, the, the, how we got to what we're, what we're writing. What is the purpose yeah. of writing? Okay. Why this? I'm yeah. Stuffer, though. Here. That super name of God. I can that, push that mic. I can. I can. It's like, I, you'll go down. I won't do it I out loud and I won't do it. Spin that mic over. <laughs> yeah. I, Spin that mic over. Like, you know, we can hear you. Push uh, number one. There. Yeah, I have to pronounce it, but I won't. I'll, it'll Just be in a the, whisper. It'll be brief, yeah, light, is oh. how it's done. There yeah. I won't do it on mic. That's the one thing I told Daz. I was like, there's yeah. some stuff that I just can't be mic. I, I was wondering what that was. Okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, well, you know, you're talking nine different names and 33. I mean, a lot of this carries so much meaning. And oh, I mean, if you know anything about masonry, the number 33 is really significant. Jesus started his ministry at the age of 33. 33 three, six, and nine, Tesla. Mm -hmm. Three, six, and nine, Tesla. So... My little brother sent me something out of the blue the other day. I can't get too far. I got to focus, somehow. you guys. You, yeah, you, yeah, guys you guys get weird. Huff the frankincense. <laughs> Hotbox the frankincense. <laughs> get the cloud going. While Smoke we... some more cigars. Hulk, take some more cigar bong ribs. Oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write some scripture here. I While I we have you here, S-H-E-K-I-N-A? Yeah, maybe an H at the end. Okay. So for people watching my thing who will maybe be familiar with the term Shekinah, Shekinah, uh, they let me name the strain that I'm blessing here. That is correct, sir. And it's Supernatural OG crossed a Cosmic Queen. Okay. Now I focus. So that's the name? Sh Shaquina? Shekina. Shekina? <laughs> it's like that's the only the word. I, I, I just thought you were talking about black chick. You know, like Shaquina? Rhymes with vagina? Shekina. Okay. The only word. Shekina. <laughs> Made him grab the pussy candle. <laughs> just saying, guys. You buy these seeds, your life might change. <laughs> Uh, you got raided. We got <laughs> raided? Who the fuck's raiding me? Glenn City. Who? Oh, uh, what up, Land Glenn City? City. <clears throat> Glenn City. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Isn't there a head in there? Gland Head City? Something like that? Glenn Head City. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You All right, everybody. Welcome, Raiders. Just came from Gland Head City Street. We are doing hoodoo magic on Daz Night Owl's drop that's going down in T minus. One hour, 33, 37 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Shekinah up on the, she the site now. Shekinah is the name of this strain that is currently being blessed. One of the Night Owl strains going out right now is being blessed by a hoodoo, hoodoo priest. If I'm going to be technical, this is not hoodoo. Dude, uh, I think you... Uh, this is practical Kabbalah. Practical Kabbalah priests. Priest, priest workings. Are all the seeds Blessings. That's good. Blessings. Just the one strain. Just the These seeds are going to grow super good. We're going to need to see some grow journals on this shit because I have a feeling that uh, these seeds will s surpass all other autos ever grown. The only reason I didn't have it done to all of them was because I'm afraid that some people might look at it in the wrong way and be scared to grow or bring something like that into their grow, you know, so... This it'll be known that these specifically were blessed, and therefore, if you don't don't want any of that amazingness from from Brother Hoodoo Moses, and stay away. But I would be on these for sure, and I'm definitely saving some for uh, my own personal projects in the future. That juniper, you know, I'm telling you, she's a good one. 
We could do that. What do you have uh, coming up next? Do you have any plans for future drops? You know, uh, you so seem the to be the most one, planned out guy I know. So yeah, everybody, thank you so much. I love the fact that you all love the F one so much and all the the limited stuff. But truly, what, what brings me pleasure is doing the work of you know bringing a photo period to auto and seeing the trades carry through. And I know the limited edition packaging is gold and it's more eye catchy. And I mean, they always outsell the. The originals is what I call them, yeah, but the sure. the photo period line work is really what's most rewarding to me. So next up, I've got the P98 Bubba Kush Cross the Skywalker. That's going to be at F4 Full Auto. Knock on wood, everything goes well with the move and everything. I should have that, hopefully Valentine's Day. But already I'm starting to to second guess that and thinking about pushing it back to March. So what about uh, Bruce Banner work? Yeah, so. Next up is the the P98 Bubba, the Dosido Purple Punch and Sunset Sherbert, bringing all those to auto, and they're at the point of full auto, ready to, to rock and roll. So hopefully everything goes well with with the move and time wise, and and those will be out you know first quarter of 2021. But like I was mentioning earlier, with the new space, I've got dedicated project space and dedicated. Uh, reproduction and feminization space so this is going to open up way more opportunity to immediately get those bruce banner three cross the forum stomper in the ground and like i said of that run that was like that and the skittles were my favorite plants in the room like so good so thank you for sharing that with me have you worked the skittles no no i've got it they're at the exact same stage they they're in f1 uh photo cross to auto in progress yeah in progress but yeah that skittles shit when you come on that's going to break the internet Bro, yeah, I, I, I've got some fast bud Skittles to grow still, just to see what they're about. But judging from the pictures, they look Come nicer, on. like nicer than actual photo period Skittles look. So I Come doubt they on. have the actual proper terpenes, but it's all white label. Until you have the real Skittles, you don't know. Like, yeah, you don't. It's, yeah. it's so incredible. Like it, you, it's unmistakable. So I'm gonna grow the fast buds out just to see where they're at. And I mean, I've got full faith in what I'm gonna do with it. So either way, like there's. Every name of any photo period has already been slapped onto an auto. Whether those right. genetics are actually there or not is a, another question. Like, there, it's been such a name game fuckery for so long that I don't even pay attention to it anymore. Honestly, like I'm just gonna keep doing projects that I want to do, and hopefully people keep enjoying them. I mean, I'm pretty sure they will. But yeah, the Bruce Banner. I mean, that's gonna be jumping ahead of the line on everything. So. I'm going to shoot for 18-ish months to get that one knocked out. And, and yeah, hopefully you grow out some of those seeds, too, and, and see what you find. See if you find, like, a 45-day finishing banner in there or something. But, man, that was... Thank you. That was special that you shared it with me. I really appreciated that. Yeah, no worries. Word. I got to use the official Bruce Banner cut, guys. <laughs> We've, uh... Dude, I, I, did, I, did I tell you on the show before? But <clears throat> my buddy Ian, who you've met, I mean, I remember sitting on his bed in Baltimore, like, flipping through High Time magazines, fucking smoking joints, and he had, his apartment was so small, I don't want, I mean, we weren't sitting on the bed, you know, whatever. <laughs> his, his apartment <laughs> so, was so small yeah. in Baltimore, his biggest room, his biggest two rooms were grows, and he had, like, this little <laughs> closet apartment, a little closet bedroom, and there was no, like, furniture or shit, it was just, we were chilling, so we'd sit there and just smoke doinks, and I remember reading your High Times cover, like, being, like, 28%, get the fuck, like, fake that's so fake there's no fucking way and then being able to meet you and like hang out with you and see that cover again like you've got it posted on your wall as you should like it's fucking amazing but yeah that I'll, it, it it was so surreal and so serendipitous the whole thing that i was just like fuck this is amazing so thank you universe thank you i mean yeah sometimes this world is a small universe at times but i mean that's the exact same story that i had i remember sitting on the you know my friend's house sitting over on his couch like flipping through high times mm-hmm. and there used to be the center folds with the with the posters and hanging them out or hanging them up and it was like blue dreams and other shit and i was just looking at these like to like this shit looks amazing mm-hmm. like absolutely <laughs> amazing and uh yeah it was just like a a bit of a dream yeah and 100% when still. i saw that you know something that we did was in high times i was just like what the fuck like mm-hmm. That's crazy, and then on the I didn't even know it was gonna be on the cover. I still maintain to this day that cover is not actually Bruce Banner, but it doesn't matter. I don't <laughs> right. know. It I don't know where the is. picture came from. I don't know oh. what weed that really is, but uh, it says Bruce Banner on the front. So I was just like, I, we made the cover of High Times, 
But uh, yeah, I was just like blown away. And yeah, we framed it, and that's the only thing I've mm. only weed thing I've ever framed or awarded or any of that stuff. We've ever framed. It's not even an award. It was just like a Super Bowl moment Dude, for me. World's like, strongest strain. Like, yeah, that, that's an award. Yeah, we got world strongest strain too. But they, yeah, it, it's just weird that that High Times cover to me was more special than almost anything. Yeah. Because it was like I just want to be on the cover of High Times, like dude. not me personally, but like my bud. It should be. That's fucking phenomenal, dude. Like that's so, so cool. I mean, I mean, not anymore. When it happened, it was fucking phenomenal. Yeah, like. totally. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say with time though. I mean, I don't. I haven't looked at it High Times in quite a long time. Right. I mean, the print publication, but I imagine that you probably had genetics grace the cover you, a lot of times you don't even know you know uh maybe you know i, I have no idea i might have been you know I, I i can't even speculate on that i i have no idea at least picks the crop there used to be picks the crop yeah yeah, yeah. It used right. to be awesome magazine mm-hmm. um, yeah i'm not so sure what it is now yeah i'm sorry i didn't mean to shit on you high times i love you guys <laughs> put me on the cover still put me on the cover it would be an honor still, 100%. Just don't I would put my booth up. in the fucking far left corner. Yeah, oh man, not again. <laughs> Dude, that was amazing to have you pull some some J Power and get our booth moved like that. The, oh, what you was mean that? throw a shit fit? That's what Oklahoma? I do with a regular. <laughs> no, you didn't. That's the thing. Like, I was like, okay, what is that Dale Carnegie book? <laughs> how, to, how to win friends and influence people? I don't I even like, know man, what you're talking is... about or remember this incident, but I know I was... every show I go to, they show me where my booth is, and I go, that's not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> it, it yeah. Like, uh, I won't don't... even say, but it was a muddy one. <laughs> a muddy one. Oh, Oklahoma, that yeah. shitstorm? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, that was a shitstorm. People were passing out in line. It's oh, like 120 dude, degrees, brutal. and it was muddy as fuck. How does that work? That oh, was bad. It was pre corona Worse, and worse were... than Michigan, huh? Michigan's just racetrack, so you got to get used to standing on incline all day. So, <laughs> it's it's kind of weird. Like, yeah, you. By the time you get back to your hotel, your calves, your calves are burning. Are hurting. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of weird exercise did I just do for eight hours today? And where was it that we always? Had, well, they always tried to make us park down in the mud pit. Was that also Michigan? Yep, Michigan. Yeah. That's another where you gotta get shitty with the parking tenders. It's not really high times. It's always the guy they hired to run the parking lot. Right. Biggest dipshit in the world. 100% of the time. It is just like super, like, it's like Cartman on a power trip. <laughs> it's just like, you will park where I tell you. It's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You realize it takes four hours to get out of this shit sometimes. I wanna park closest to the exit so that I can leave fast. And like, basically, it's filling the parking lot backwards. So they like lose their shit if you try to park your car anywhere near the exits. Because they want to stuff you like a quarter mile deep in a mud field back there. And it's like, all right, I've been through this a lot. I'm a veteran. I'm not about to get my car stuck back there for four hours. This piece of shit rental is not going to get out of this mud hole. So, like, I'm going to park right up here next to the road on the side and leave me alone. And generally, they lose their shit. <laughs> they? Yeah. They? Or you? Well, both, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a shit losing fest to see After... like, who, who, will, who will win the shit losing fest. After hearing basically that same spill. And the and the parking attendant um, demanding that we respect his authority. <laughs> <laughs> Jay <laughs> proceeds to just see how how much he can redline this charger <laughs> in the mud mm-hmm. all the way back. Yeah, and I'm like, we're, we're gonna going... get stuck before we ever get parked. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Speaking of redlining chargers, Uh-oh. man, we could be we should be racing Lambos this year. I'm so kind of bummed. 100 k Grand Prix postponed. But uh, that's the biggest thing. You, if you ask me what I miss the most about not doing 100K Grand Prix right now, it's not the, the contest. Lambo. It's not even that shit. I just want to go ride my Lambo again, dude. That was the coolest <laughs> shit ever. Like, oh, and I could have had, yeah, all of our friends could have had Lambos, and we could have just tore it up. And I want a Lambo and a radar gun. And that's my dream. <laughs> can make this happen i'll just go to vegas with a, with a radar gun i'm sure they sell that shit on amazon i will find it they sell it on the strip <laughs> sell everything on the strip by the way everybody that voice of god you're hearing in your ears is a bk he's not on camera bk roller uh drop in one hour 27 minutes man i got to uh i'm not getting service in here i think too much electrical uh, energy over there it's not letting me update the site Oh, well. Step outside. You may have to have Des step outside to uh, get everything get everything set up. And just a triple triple check. <clears throat> Shekinah. Is that proper pronunciation? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fucking up here. He's busy. 
Just got to concentrate, but... Yeah, I will get back to that. Boom, bam. Shakina. No, because I was thinking Shania. I don't know. It reminded me of that. thing is Shaquina. I heard oh, a Huckabee. Sorry, I, I heard a Huckabee. Scrabble surgery. I had two letters. The, the sauce is really saucy. The ink. the ink is really saucy, so the letters bled together, which invalidates the whole thing. Okay. So the only way to save it is to get a knife and scrape the ink off so oh, it yeah. fixes it. Certainly don't want to invalidate the whole thing. And also, you, I mean, that's a heady technique you got there. I, I don't know if that's a, a freebie I'd be sharing. How to fix an invalidated one? Oh, I mean, that's 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 like well, basic then. basic In- religious scribal basics. Yeah, it's, you find that on YouTube. Okay. For those that don't know also, Hoodoo Moses is like a knife guy. Oh, yeah. He's got all kinds of shanks, mm-hmm. a million knives. I yeah, think he's, he's done some knife fighting classes. He's done some like survival training to get out of disaster kidnapping situation. You could try to kidnap this dude right now, and he will fuck you up 10 ways from Sunday because he trains in it. Mm-hmm. So wow. like... On this wrist right here. <laughs> See, yeah, on his wrist, he's got a ligature to like we'll choke or kidnap or handcuff so somebody. This, what yeah, do you got? This, <laughs> all three. This is the, uh, I got a handcuff key here. Oh, you got, you carry a handcuff key. So and this dude's this picking is, locks. This is a window breaker. So that's that. And then this is a pretty decent, like, improvised handcuff. Kind of. Okay. Kind of get a hand in each one of these. and You got your own zip tie handcuff typey thing? Just in case. Who are you trying to handcuff? You never know. You <laughs> yeah. know. Yeah, like, okay, that's... You went both directions. Yeah. Right? Like, you know, I I, uh-huh. I I took anti-kidnapping survival course, and I've got... Kidnapping Kidnapping tools. equipment <laughs> I mean, always yeah. on. I mean, sometimes... <laughs> Seven days in Survival a week, means making right. sure that someone else can't use their hands. Totally. <laughs> I get that. Um... Just hopefully you don't have duct tape in the car. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't have duct tape in your car? I now don't. I do feel like you're slacking. I right, I, I do too. I, I was <laughs> totally expecting a yes there. No, the I, my car's weird, but I don't have any duct tape. He's <laughs> <laughs> much weirder stuff. Yeah. <laughs> right. So like this this bag, this bag right now. So this is like a sap. This is a knockout bag, obviously. <laughs> but I change out the contents every day. So today I got, since it's Wednesday, the day of Mercury... I got my little statue of Mercury right here. Got my, uh, oh, I just realized my scene, my camera was face down. Uh, <laughs> Suckers. <It's> like <laughs> so I got my little statue of Mercury. I got a whole bunch of Mercury down. I got this uh, possum hand. Wow. What? Possum. Yeah, oh, what right, is that for? Thank you. <laughs> Like I got you got a fucking hand of a possum in your possum. bag? Sure. The fuck? <laughs> so if I smack you with my bag, you're getting smacked with some real weird... Some there's dark always magic? Bonus, you... bonus magic damage, yeah. Wow. Okay. Bunch of... <laughs> got uh, you know, brass dice, couple bones. Bones of what? <laughs> you don't want to know. These are, these are homo sapiens. You these have are... human bone? Human yeah, bones? Man. Why? Yeah. Yeah, let me just tell you this. If you donate your body to science, science gets it initially. Often science will sell it. <laughs> the fuck? Science is about that money. Oh, yeah, don't let me let me tell you. Don't donate, don't your, donate your body to science. <laughs> unless you want unless you want it to end up in my fucking bones blackjack on the, on the sack. Open market. <laughs> Like, unless you want to end up in my Wednesday bag. I'm, I don't even really want to ask, probably shouldn't even say on air, but yeah, like, right. where does a man acquire human bone? Bro, you want to see something crazy? Go to Amazon right now. You're shitting me. I'm not, I'm not telling you this is where you should buy your bones, but if you need bulk bones, I probably bought all the cadaver kits. If you need but, bones tomorrow, Prime. Yeah, you can get bones. If you need bones in a rush, you can get them on Amazon Prime. <laughs> like, I got a bone if guy. bones are on Prime, real human bones are on Prime right now, I'm going to search, my search human bone. You'll find that they probably only have like kneecaps right now. <laughs> he knows not, what's fucking I, available. I bought out a lot. There's gonna it's be like some. Bro, since quarantine, there's been a major shortage on like femurs and kneecaps. <laughs> so you're gonna get a lot of the round here. stuff. There's shit here. on here. Shit, there's real the human spine. bones on here. I'm not playing. He knows real. Real human fibula. <laughs> there you go. Leg bones. Fifty bone. fucking bucks. But it's only got four stars. Yeah, human bones aren't that cheap. How do you uh, how do you only get four stars for a bone? Four Holy stars for a bone. Shit. We got we got live human bones on. Well, it's not prime, so I'm not 
really ship That's myself cheap, quite too. yet. But they, I'll tell you, they ship fast. Skulls Unlimited. They ship fast. They're, <laughs> they're skulls. skulls Unlimited. They, they Ducks skulls? Unlimited Sisters Company. Real human, <laughs> Real human skulls? They're usually out of skulls. You can Real buy them direct from their site, though. They, they don't have skulls on Amazon, but if you go to skullsunlimited.com, you buy whole skeleton skulls. This is like, so if you guys watch my channel, maybe not as interesting as all this. But every Monday night, we do a boring thing we call Sacred Scripture Circle, where my cohort, Doc Cosmic, likes to talk about, say, like, the rituals, for example, is a finger bone. Yeah, I got, what are they, like? 25 bucks for a finger bone. Ooh, those prices are... It's like I got a finger bone guy, way better prices. I got, I got, I got to check. I out get them. you two for twenty five. <laughs> so, so a bit of yeah. Monday night, knuckle, you check nice. us out, and Doc will talk all about how he's you know buys a skull and traps the spirit in the skull, trains the spirit to communicate through the skull. But to get the skull, you got to get buried in a graveyard overnight. It's fun <laughs> stuff. It's really you have to be buried Wait, in the graveyard every night to receive the skull. The skull is used to house the spirit you receive when you become uh, one of the dead, basically, or, or co inhabit with okay. the dead. Let's get Halloween here. Yeah, okay. so that yeah, ritual yeah. requires you to be buried in a graveyard overnight. Um, skulls unlimited. There we go. <laughs> That's my people. So I know, yeah, so I know two people who have done different buried in a graveyard overnight rituals. Yeah, I've only heard that on um. Old radio shows back in the day as a prank. How long can you stay in the coffin, sort of thing? But I don't think you want anything as cool. That's where you, that's where you get. That's where it comes from. Even you know so much stuff that we think of as just like folks like rabbit's foot. Mm -hmm. Where's that come from? Well, one day there's a rabbit foot in my bag. You know, Wednesday's actually a good day for it, but buried my rabbit's foot at a crossroad and I didn't want to give it back. So is this where you said you got real ones? Skullsunlimited.com. Yeah, yeah. Skullsunlimited.com. They have replicas and real. But then I got a guy too, uh, naturally. Yes, that's what I'm talking like, about. Yeah, so the guy, we you get like shit. old, like these are all clean and like lab uh -huh. looking and shit. When you get it from the guy, there's blood still, there's hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're like yellow and old and whatnot. They're um, definitely not fresh, is what he's saying. Fuck. You could sell them your skulls. They're looking what? for human skulls. Well, so that's the other. They, they asked some questions. We're I'll be honest. With you. They asked some questions. They asked some Sorry. questions. Are you willing to I sell your skull? No, it's so. not your skull. It's the skulls you own. Yeah, your not collection. The skull, like not the skull on your head, on your shoulders. Right. The skull on your shelf. Okay. Hmm. Well, if they're selling skulls, why are they buying skulls? <laughs> Bro, it's a, it's always a buyer's market. <laughs> come on, Bill. Don't you get <laughs> don't you get how business works? Buy man? Buy sell it's sell high. Like, all right, break out the pie charts. All right, there, I, there's some info for you. You could buy, and there's human bone trading going on right now. Yeah, that's the real human trafficking. I won't tell. I won't on tell Amazon. you. Well, <laughs> oh god, what are that's a fuck wafer dark hole to get into? Well, first of all, I'm not going to tell you how what to do with it once you get it, but I'll also <laughs> tell you certain traditions would hold that if the the bone was collected from a person who was scared when they died, mm. then that spirit would be very subservient to you. <sighs> I've got my dog, Allie, sitting here down next to me. Best friend in the whole world, but I've heard dog are the same way. you got to scare them before you eat them. <laughs> <What? laughs> <laughs> my, my dad That's went to not Korea. not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> my dad went to Korea and was like, that's the only thing that turned my stomach there. He said he walked through the meat market and they still had the paws on so you could turn. I was like, oh my God, dad. He was like, I thought of Allie. I was like, oh, fuck. Dad. Yeah. Eating dog. Yeah, we're talking about you. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> We're just watching the Hoodoo Moses for the silence. He's deep in work right now. I think his frankincense has me fucking stoned. I was feeling a little, little nice off that cigar. Honestly, got me a little, a little lightheaded. You're not supposed to inhale. Yeah. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I just smoked a little portion. I was of just life. swallowing the smoke. Hmm. I had a cotton mouth from Jesus at this point. Yeah, I brought this big ass coconut water and down the whole thing already. Where'd Caesar go? Probably the same place that I'm getting ready to go. You want something to drink? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm not sure what what there is down there, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. Whatever, huh? Give so you two. put the calligraphy in the horn? Just the seeds are in the horn? 
just to hold it. No, 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 no. The seeds are going to go in the tray in the end. You're, this is the work, right? We're, we're accumulating focus. We're accumulating intention in everything, right? It's in the smell of the room, so it's permeating everything we're doing, right? We're accumulating it in this horn by touching that with everything, fumigating it with the smoke. We're, we're putting the scripture in here. We're going to write the same thing around the horn. It's going to be sort of the last prep stage after I take a little break to ground myself because I'm feeling pretty heady, boys. Then... I'm going to write on the horn. I'm going to write on the tray. We're going to clear the incense off the middle. The seeds are going to go in the middle here. We're going to light up some candles, prayers. Game on. Caesar, could you do me a favor? Um, check Shekinah, S-H-E-K-I-N-A-H. Because I know my buddy does have a uh, something similar. Shakira? I think it's Shakira. So there may be a there may be a strain name that because it's like it's it's like a known you know what I mean yeah like, no for sure I just like to know but you know. if if there is I got backups right now oh Bill you got me a Pepsi boss sure yeah I need my yeah. exercise today oh thank you so much I appreciate that yeah. oh. so people watching on my stream wondering what the hell I'm doing where the hell I am I'm here with my buddies uh, from from my cannabis days Dark Horse Genetics. You can watch on that link. I pinned their whole their whole show, this whole thing that's going on. Um, our buddy from Night Owl Genetics over here has uh, commissioned me to bless some seeds that he's putting out, some cannabis seeds. Uh, if you guys, a lot of people hit me up and say like, "Oh, I want to learn to grow. What, what should I start with?" I mean, Night Owl is easy because I, for again, for my audience who doesn't necessarily know that much about cannabis, you don't have to figure out what's the male and what's the female or anything like that. You just pop them. They're they're feminized auto flower. You don't have to figure out all the shit with the lighting. None of that. You just plant them and they will turn into cannabis that's fire. And uh, in the most basic form, absolutely. Yeah, leave the lights on all the time for. Leave them the lights on all the time. You don't have to deal with the the photo period thing. Yeah. So and then I'm gonna bless these seeds specifically. He's uh, graced me with the privilege of naming them. So okay. actually, I prepared holy water earlier. So I actually baptize them in that name okay. since we have the name. Um, so these are going to be blessed seeds, and you'll be able to buy them in how long? One hour and 14 minutes. One hour and 14 minutes. They'll be These very seeds I'm blessing here will be for sale on... TheSeaBazaar.com. Which, premium. if you want to find that link... Slash premium. Come check it out. Uh, check out DarkHorse.live, and then I'll give you the link to buy these yep. right off there. Cool. I'm going to end my live for a minute. I'm going to go do a little little thing, and then I'll be back. I'll be back on my live. These guys are on darkhorse.live right now, and I'll be back on that, too. We're getting close, man. We're at one hour and 13 minutes. We're almost within the hour mark. Are you guys salivating yet? It's sort of like a live countdown before college football or something, but way dramatic. Dude, Instagram definitely change their function because I'm at 52 minutes and still letting me download it yeah. which usually they don't let me download after 20 minutes. I'm at like two hours but the fact that they're letting me download it so yeah IG lives have officially lost the one hour fucking time limit or something I don't know I'm gonna have to because of COVID because of Trump COVID are we allowed to talk about that or we don't talk politics oh, on the show we don't really talk politics but what do I don't you, even want to talk, talk I don't even want to talk politically I don't even want to talk about any shit like that but I want to share. I I just want to say, spiritually speaking, we foresaw this. We foresaw this. There are recorded prophecies going back to March that I made with Cosmic. First of all, about riots in major cities coming in the summer between June and August, which we certainly fucking saw. And people were like, thought we were crazy, man. They said, oh, it's just a virus. Why would people riot? All this stuff, right? That happened. And we said Trump was going to get COVID. I specifically said Trump was going to get COVID. You so you called COVID, riots you? and you called COVID? I also, I, well, so like COVID had already had president, COVID. I mean, yes, COVID for president, I called. COVID that's for all, president. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> nah, I'm not I saying whether I'm voting that. COVID for president. <laughs> I'm not saying, I'm not giving making a political statement. I'm just speaking to it. You're saying you had prophecies, premonitions? Like no. Prophecies, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. For, for, I'm formally titled, written, I'm anointed as a down prophet. Or if that was recorded. Recorded, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So if that was your prophecy, did you see him leaving the hospital or, or living through it? Oh, I definitely knew he was going to survive. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was no question. I didn't think he was going to die of it, no. Seemed to be a good fall guy. What's that? <laughs> I said he seems to be a good fall guy. Well, you know? 
Are we getting too deep on the politics? Yeah, I'm not getting into the out. politics. We got to reverse out of here. I'm not getting into the politics. <laughs> I'm just saying. Backwards. I'm just saying that I foresaw that that was coming in the news. The saw the riots coming in the news. Back. Saw all this stuff coming in the news. <laughs> I mean, abort, I just don't want abort. to mess it with a blessing. As long as we're all good yeah. on that front. Now, I'll, I'll say, if you guys want more prophecy, come on my Instagram. Find Cosmic <laughs> this Friday. He has Plug. his students all giving prophecies. Of course Shameless I'm plugging. Plug. Come on. <laughs> Come on. It's Listen, welcomed, preaching welcomed is just plugging. It's plugging, yeah. Yes. It's repping my crew constantly. <laughs> so wait a minute. On your on your IG live, like... Say that one more time. You're going you're gonna, you're gonna to... No, there's not... No, so on, yeah, if you come to my IG, I'll link Cosmic, who's my my colleague, my prophetic teacher. And he's got he's doing like a prophetic boot camp now, and he has his students... Get, oh, it does smell like hash, like a crazy yeah. amount. He has his students doing live prophecy on Fridays. So come check it out. You receive prophecy. So prophecy, when you say receive prophecy, like they're just going to tell you general prophecies that they have or like about a specific person? You can ask them. Usually they'll give you, they'll like say myself, the word of the, like, the, the, word of the Lord has for myself. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll give you the prophecy for you. Interesting. So it was like a psychic reading in a sense? So it's not, I mean, like it, to, for, from your side, yes. From my side, no. From, from the, you know, you're getting some information. What, what, the forms I've seen it take, right? And I, I kind of was not, I've been skeptical. I was skeptical about every single thing that I now believe because I was like, no, that can't possibly work that way. You're oversimplifying it. That's not that, whatever. <laughs> this man, I introduced him. He came to visit me in Denver. He stayed, or came to visit me, stayed with me. We went to this thing. I introduced him to one of my students, Mary. He knew nothing of Mary. I knew a little bit of Mary. He proceeds to deliver a prophecy to Mary. Two things he says in this prophecy. He says, Mary, I see you among large, rare books under glass with leather-bound covers, oversized books, uh, hidden away in a basement. And I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? This is not Mary. Like, I, I've been to Mary's house. That's not Mary. I don't know what you're talking about. And he goes, and I see your name next to the words $2 million. You know, whatever. And then he walks away. And I was like, all right, whatever. I swear on every single thing that, first of all, two days later, Mary called me and said, Moses, you're not going to fucking believe this, but I got a new letter from my ex-husband, you know, my former husband's lawyer. She's in a divorce. The settlement they've offered is exactly $2 million. Because <laughs> at the time when he said it, I pulled him aside. I was like, Prophet, like, I don't know if you're off your game or what, dude, but that, none of that has to do with Mary, you know? Hmm. And then, then I went to see her like maybe a week later. I was doing some work for her. And she said, who, who was that guy? And I said, oh, that's Kaz, you know, it's my master prophet, whatever. And she goes, I've never told anyone about my friend. I can't remember the friend's name's li secret library. And I was like, Mary, are you serious right now? She goes, no, there's like hundreds of books and, it's, it, and no one knows about it. I've never told anyone about it. She used to own all these bookstores and she just closed them all and has a private library and it's all this wow. stuff and i was like what I, like i didn't know about that doc sure as fuck didn't know about that hmm. so yeah check it out on fridays it's it surprises even me <laughs> i mean yeah that's pretty nuts you might have to step away for a minute and put up a uh, story for an hour countdown or whatever yeah if you gotta go to work go to work thing. i'm gonna yeah, step yeah. away and, and yeah, uh, stretch my lungs we're stepping away you want to take a quick five? No, yeah, it's fine. I think uh, we might take a quick break here. Moses is going to come right back and uh, play some Twilight Zone. Finish what the are rest. they saying in the chat? What are they saying in the chat? What are they thinking of all this? Uh, about. Uh, yeah, what are they they're thinking? talking about lots of auto talk. Cool, good for them. Auto talk. Good for them. There's a ton of them. Let me, just, let me scroll through. Nobody was. Uh, like shocked on the human bone shit? Uh, I'm pretty sure we shocked some people with some human bone stuff. You can't find fucking I gotta buy all those bones before Halloween when all these people know about them, right? Right? They, they were cheap, too. He's like, oh, that ain't cheap. They <laughs> <laughs> say it's cool voodoo. They're stoked and they're excited. Can't wait to grow the blessed seeds. Do the skulls come with the slap? <laughs> Talk more. Take more than some bones to phase me. That person get back to you on that uh, pot, that helm. Remember that uh, that helmet thing? 
Oh yeah, somebody on IG hit me up about a 3D printed skull. That's a pot that I'm gonna put in the studio. But we plan. Cool. In. Can yeah. you grow my special weed in it? Probably. This is like my I'll special strain now. I, I'm gonna. I hope I like smoking this stuff. Yeah, you might need to get a couple of seeds too. Throw them in the backyard. It's your strain. I do well, have a backyard now. That's true, but it's the wrong season for it. Hulky, yeah, you got you got a stove? Yeah, I got you. Cool. Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere. I'm gonna go. Right, I gotta calligraphy the horn. Spark up my cigar. I'm gonna go close it's up, good. Cam. It's good. It's good. It's good. I'm going to take a few brief moment break here. We'll be back. I'm going to leave the stream on, but uh, we'll be back. And uh, let's see if I can't wrap up the uh, the blessing as we take you into the drop, which is coming in one hour and five minutes. Stay tuned. Yeah, that timing is going to be perfect. Breaking news. Night Owl Drop is in 53 minutes and 18 seconds. It smells so good in here. So, yeah. We're back. I'm bringing Hoodoo Moses to wrap up his blessing. It's going to take a little while still, but we're going to wrap up his blessing. I'm hoping to get it done like right at the bell. And uh, these seeds will be live in an hour for all you... Yeah, Night Owl doing. Maniacs out there that are staying up for this drop. We're hanging with you. I'm hanging with you. I have much better to do than watch the blessing and hang out with you guys. If you guys got any questions, I'll try to answer them. Go ahead and AMA. Ask me anything right now. I'm not Daz. Daz is downstairs working in something else. But uh, I will try to answer anything I can. I should probably take myself off this stupid breaking news. There's not really that much breaking news about it. Yeah, I do feel bad for the East Coast, too. If you're on the East Coast, staying up, power to you, man. Coffee. Keep it going. You almost made it. The Growers Hulk. This is the minutes. middle of the shift. Like Dark Horse, Pepsi or Coke? Pepsi all day. You already know. Don't even get me started. Did Dad say something about his super soil recipe? You might be able to uh, get that after the new year. He said, thinking about dropping that after the new year. I think he sells it. I uh, but I think I'm, my buddy's mom gave me a Christmas card with a, a <laughs> crab cake recipe on it. And I was like, man, that was so nice. So I kind of wanted to take that and do that with a super soil, put out the super soil recipe and send it out as a Christmas card. But... If I don't, then yeah, I'm just going to put it out after the new year. Okay, he's talking about putting it in a Christmas card. So you may get it in a Christmas card, super soil. Coke is, Coke is a superior beverage. Come on, bro. Will Dark Horse release any FEMS? There's a couple FEMS on premium right now. Um, we're, we are committed to putting out some banner FEMS. Um, trying to get them out by the start of the year, but it's more likely it's going to be right after the the new year but yeah i'm working on bruce banner fems there's our few out right now on the premium side best drop pre prius 5 <laughs> the daz drop is that you talking about i want to say thanks for the packs oh you got some free packs you're a winner you're welcome sonorium i can't read that sonor you sorry it's a long ways away small text you're welcome for the packs. Congratulations. Does it hurt every time Daz says another generous thing he does for his customers? Just a little bit. No, nah, man. I'm stoked he does all that shit. He's, he's got the most, like, vapid, rapid, the most loyal fan base that there is. So, yeah. He's earned it. Thought he was eventually going to release the recipe. I think he is releasing the recipe on the on the Christmas card. I think that's what he's talking about. 
So I think it's going to come on your Christmas cards this year. Any word on the night? Oh, shirts or hoodies, they're uh, also going to come out after this drop. I know my dude is busy. Um, Actually, Blue said she'd be down for the, to do the hoodies and stuff. Okay, so I take that Sorry, back. I'm on delay out here. Daz is uh, chirping in my ear that uh, he might put him up here shortly because he's got some shipping help arriving in the form of blue. They'll be on the regular side. As part of that. They'll be on the regular side of Sea Bazaar yeah, on the 10th. Yeah, on the 10th, and you guys can pick up all of the uh, merch that you're looking for, extra hoodies and might be a few face masks left and other Daz gear. How many packs are being released of each strain? Trying to gauge how much stuff to be in the cart before I check out. Um, I'm not exactly sure. It's a sizable drop, but um, I think they're going to hold some back for the 1010 drop. So we don't have an exact figure on that, but there is one strain that is super limited, which I believe was Space Station. Is that right, Death? Space Station Orange. Then Space the Station Orange Judy is. Judy Gemstone after that. And Judy Gemstone have the least number of packs. So if you're into those, you should probably scoop those up quick because uh, those are the least number of packs that he has. We'll yeah, say I'm that. I'm figuring that out right now, the numbers. He's trying to sort it out right now. <clears throat> Christmas cards, you say? Yeah, Daz sends out Christmas cards. I don't know how you get on that list, but uh, hit up Daz. He'll, he'll tell you. can't afford the premium I got you no worries I understand that um, like I said it's uh, on 10 10 there's another drop 10 10 drops at midnight too I believe right Daz yeah 10 midnight on 10 10 yep. yeah so on 10 10 which is two days from now um, at midnight there'll be a drop from premium on the regular side so if you miss out there's a second chance or if you can't afford premium we get it um, there's a chance to just get it on the regular side the premium is only a you know a 48 hour window to buy stuff before it goes on sale on the normal site is the randy savage or super fire is it super fire it is super fire or is it <laughs> i'm confused by your question but yes I think the answer is yes. <laughs> What's up, Grow King? What's up, Dr. Wizstone? Weestone? Dirt Weestone? Sorry, I, I can't read for shit. I may need glasses. I don't want to admit it. I may need glasses. <laughs> Will there be owl pellets on 1010? Hey, Dad. Owl pellets on 1010. Just give me a, like a smirky, frowny face. Maybe, no promises. Maybe, no promises. I'm trying. He's trying. I don't, yeah. Maybe, no promises. <laughs> oh, so there's some hoodoo going on. I got to get back over to this action. I thought he was just calligraphy in a way. Oh, he is. He's just writing. See, he's writing on the the horn. If you just got here, this is Hoodoo Moses. And Daz commissioned him to do a blessing on the seeds for this Halloween drop. So they're being blessed by a... He said it's technically not Hoodoo. It's... um. Shit, I forgot what he said. It's a blessing. This is Kabbalah. Kabbalah, there it is. The word I was looking for. This is Kabbalah blessing. But these plants, or these seeds are going to grow super extra vigorous and amazing. Just think Jack and the Beanstalk type shit. This is a serious, serious like commission. It certainly cost a pretty penny. Debts were paid. What was the strain name again? We also allowed Hoodoo Moses to name the strain that is blessing. One of the strains on the drop coming up here in 44 minutes 
is going to be blessed. And it's called Shikala, I believe is what it was. Shikala? Don't, don't uh, quote me on that. Shekinah. Shekinah. There you go. So if you guys don't know where it is either, I'll show you real quick. Man, I think when I was in and out of internet connection, I might have accidentally deleted a couple items off the C bazaar. Oh, shit. Daz is in crisis mode 45 minutes before. He gets he gets more nervous than you guys. As the night goes on, he's going to start getting perpetually more more manic. Says they think he deleted something on accident off the bazaar. All right, let me show you this real quick, folks. Let me just show you this real quick. So this is C Bazaar Premium. Check out the chatter in the old chat room. There's a member's chat on CPSR Premium. Oh, it's filling up with all kinds of stuff. When can members order midnight coupon code for the anniversary drop? If I pay with money order, how does it work? I don't want to be scrambling tonight. So, Bird Bomb, all you got to do is use the money order feature, buy what you want to buy, add your coupon to the cart or whatever, and you should be fine. I just want to say, I get more nervous on these drops than those guys. That's exactly what I just said to these guys. I know, I heard it. Yeah. And that's because I've gone through like three years of having drop after drop after drop fail, you know, <laughs> with past experiences. And it's like, yeah. I, I'm what do you mean fail? Out. Like, not fail, but you know, Mephisto servers crashing. Oh, uh, yeah, Mephisto issues on their on their store so being a shit show. take every precaution I can to not have that happen here. Yeah, yeah. We, we, like we're, trying. we're trying. We're trying. We're trying. Trying to bring you a shit show free experience. Um, I'm not sure you can save your credit card. Unfortunately, I don't know how to do that. I'm not sure that's a thing. If you, this guy Jers here, I'm not sure if you're watching, but if you're signed in and you can see the premium seeds listed, then you're you're in. So nothing to worry about there. You're in. Yes, this is uh, C Bizarre Premium. It brings up like deal of the day. I'll go to Dark Horse real quick. We throw out a deal of the day or a deal of the week. I'm sorry, every week. This deal of the week is Sager Bloom Haze six pack. Ooh, it's twelve actually. I, I didn't mean that, but I'm gonna leave it up because I just advertised it on the air. <laughs> Forty bucks for twelve seeds. It's a crazy deal right there. You know, or you can go bulk. 100 for 550, which I'm not sure that math totally makes sense at the moment, but it's still a deal. Still a deal. CB's our premium, man. Check it out. If you want to get this drop, that's where you need to be. Otherwise, wait till 1010 and uh, you can get it with the general public. So back to the cal calligraphy going on here. Um, how come I click sign in at the bottom and it emails me a link and it still shows sign in? I'm not sure what's going on with that. That's a emails you a link and it still shows sign in. I'm not sure if you, can you see the products? If you can see, I'm not in the chat digital. If you can see the products, then you're in and no problem there. If you're having trouble seeing the products, you might want to check your third party cookies. Usually there's a link on the top of the screen how to take it off. If you're on your phone, you might need to take off the... Yeah, you're good, digital. I'm not sure what's up with the email. Don't let that freak you out. But if you can see the products and they're sold out right now, then you're in. At midnight, they will turn They will turn into active products that you can purchase. So no panicking. As long as you can see, guys, you're good when you sign in. Could you do me a favor and ask, is a wild card in there? You know, wild card yeah. as a strain? No, no, no. Somebody, uh, oh, wild card in the chat? We have wild card in the chat. Are you there? Are you there, sir? Daz, Daz requests an audience. Yeah. Check his DM. Check your DM, wild card. Daz is trying to get with you. Pre drop mania. He put together a, a nice strain guide. Well, okay. He's got a strain guide Daz is looking for. He said he's going to run the new subreddit. He mentioned yeah, there's going to be a new subreddit if any Redditors are hanging out with us. I think uh, 
Mephesto and Night Owl are going to separate the subreddits. Or separate reddits. I don't really know shit about reddits, but I know they're all lumped together right now. And uh, Night Owl is so big he needs his own damn reddit. If you type in the whole URL, yeah, it's probably just a black page. Unless you pay for premium. Page is blacked out. But yeah, I hope everyone's not having any issues with the premium logins. I haven't really checked it. But it should be good. When can you expect this? Are you talking about delivery? Uh, I'll just say this much. Duh. Daz has a small army that will package all this shit up. And get it out to you guys. Um, I, you know, if you're overseas, I'm not gonna tell you when at all. Like, good luck. That shit gets fucked up in the mail right now. But if you're in the states, I would expect he'll probably try to get them shipping by early next week. Because um, there's a drop now, and there's a drop 48 hours from now, and I'm sure they'll get right to it. But some of you guys will get them quick, and some of you guys might have to wait a week or so till they go out. But they're going to work pretty much non-stop. You're spoiled. You're spoiled. Spoiled. You're Owl's Nest, that's the subreddit? That's cool. There you go. New subreddit coming on for Night Owl. The email link not working, but I can... Okay, I'll look into it, Dakota Song. I'm not sure... The premium login is kind of rough. The guy in the chat was right about it. The email link not working, but I could still get in to see the premium site. As long as you're in, you're good. Um, Bitcoin payment should be available. I hope it should work. I mean, people have bought Bitcoin in the past off Night Owl, so. I mean, Hulk, Hulk. Hulk's certainly been able to gamble on it. So. Yeah. Like I said, as I mentioned before, that usually goes right to me. So, uh, yeah. Bitcoin should work, but um, I'm not sure what the link you guys are talking about, but. Don't worry about the link. As long as you got to the URL and it's unblocked for you, then you're good to go to make your purchase. Coming up here. What's the time? 37 minutes. 37 minutes. I expect this chat to empty out quickly here as we count down to it. Where are we at? Hoodoo Moses. Now he's calligraphying the pan. Okay, wild cards here. He's saying the sub is made. It's almost ready. I don't think it's debuted yet. Again, I don't know shit about Twitter. Or not Twitter, Reddit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a look at what you're doing. Oh, he's doing calligraphy in the pan. Okay. Okay. Fire's still going. There's been fire almost this whole episode. This episode features the most fire we've ever had. A dog or somebody's freaking out. I could certainly hear that. Hey, Dollar. All right, yeah, close that. Thank you. My dog Dollar is attacking Daz or something. No worries. What did it sound like? <laughs> I can still hear it. It's weird. It's like a muffled, ruffled... I don't really know how to describe it. Two chickens in a potato sack. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Any more giveaways left tonight? No, I'm giveaway out, my friend. I give away out all kinds of shit. Yeah, we were in the extended OT version of the show tonight. We were the longest Dark Horse Live we've ever done. I think what, how far our double header plus this episode is now just ticked over the three hour mark. So if you've been with us the whole time chilling, thanks. Thanks for hanging out as we count us down into the dark horror, or uh, sorry, night, night owl's drop. I wish it was my drop. I wish my drops were this hype. Certainly no more of the lasagna is going to be happening out of this pan. I know that for a fact. <laughs> the days of lasagna are done. It just feel weird to eat out of there. <laughs> All your future lasagnas would be blessed. What's in bro. 36 minutes? I thought the drop was 10-10. Sleep Baca. 
Seabazaar uh, Premium, my friend. Seabazaarpremium.com. You get a 48-hour exclusive window to buy uh, drops on the Seabazaar. And Daz is dropping on 1010. But there is a way to buy tonight at midnight in 34 minutes. If you sign up to the Seabazaarpremium.com, $10 a month, it's behind a paywall. You go ahead and sign up and get access by the by the drop. I was hoping to win ten packs. Me too. Y'all should autograph an ashtray. That would just devalue the ashtray, bro. <laughs> Wild cards in the chat, I believe, on Twitch. And you guys know about the subreddit that he's building for Night Owl. I'll give you guys another quick, quick look at the board of Seopoly. If you haven't heard about this, we brought it up a couple of times on the program. Seedopoly is happening right now. It's um, the board game. Start shipping basically with this drop, and you'll get the board game with your drop along with a whole smorgasbord of other shit like chocolates and stickers. And Daz went all out for his Halloween spectacular, spooktacular. And uh, we're launching the Seedopoly. It officially starts January 1st of 2021, so a couple months from now. But well, we're giving the game boards out starting now, so you get your guys hype about the prizes. Somebody's gonna walk away with $10,000. Uh, a couple other people, Thank PS5, Grow that. Tent, Xbox, Trip for Two to Hawaii, set of Illuminar Grow Lights, uh, a $500 shopping spree at Sea Bazaar, and a set of uh, a couple sets of um, Method 7 glasses. Not to mention a free Puffco with tons of instant winners, instant win seed packs, discount coupons, all kinds of shit. One in four will win. So get your game board and then start the drop. I say January 1st. Um, on the game pieces will come exclusively on all Dark Horse genetic seed packs, all Night Owl seed packs, all merch. We'll get a, we'll get a game piece, and uh, anybody on Seed Bazaar Premium, if you sign up for that tonight for the drop, you're also going to get two game pieces if you order through Seed Bazaar Premium. Two game pieces for everything that you order. So double After your chances. January 1st. After January, January 1st, 1st, yeah. So to be clear. The game pieces don't start this drop. Just sh just giving the game board out right now. The game pieces will start shipping on New Year's Day. Anything ordered on New Year's Day and through August 1st, we'll get a game piece. And uh, we, we estimate that we should have a rate of winnings as about one to two uh, winners a month on the bigger prizes. So, yeah, get in on the Seedopoly. Also, I'm going to build a web page for it, but it'll be cbazaar.com slash seedopoly. It's not built yet, but I'll build it. And uh, these brochures will come in the mail. Good luck, everybody. So, Daz. <coughs> yes, sir. I am ready to um, place the seeds in here. Mm -hmm. I just want you to see what I'm doing with your seeds, and, and if you want to make me do anything different, now would be a really good time to tell me. <laughs> no, not at all. Because like I'm going to put the seeds right here where there's like, there's, it's dirty, man. You know, there's like ashes and and. That's good. Things. That's just potash. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. All right. I don't see anything wrong with that. As long as you don't see anything wrong, I don't see anything wrong either. Uh, We're still guaranteeing yeah, germination I'll, on I'll this. I'll germ test them after this. Cool. Cool. All right. It's about to go down. Well, I still got to get all oh. the seeds and stuff. Are we calligraphied? Yeah. Well, you've got all the calligraphy. You calligraphied the pan, the, the little scrolls. The calligraphy is all calligraphy. You'd, yeah. You put some calligraphy on this horn. On the bullhorn, yeah? Bullhorn? That's a bullhorn? I just it's realized that now. Bullhorn, okay. Got yeah. a bullhorn? Seeds are going in the drop. Seeds are now named what? Shekhina. Shekhina. Shekhina for you guys. Shekhina. You white folks. Shekhina. You white folks. Did you call me Caesar? <laughs> oh. Were you saying Caesar? Talking to me? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just so you know, these were germ tested before. And if for some reason there are already issues after the fact, full refund, yeah, no questions. There's not going to be refund. issues. There's going to be <laughs> spectacular Yeah, issues. I think they're going to be nothing but tenfold. <laughs> tenfold the greatness and potential that they had previously. And again, I appreciate you, you doing this. 
right. I appreciate the opportunity, Des. This was this has been really cool to put together. Yeah, same here. Also, anybody that is sticking around for the drop, <clears throat> the items are going to go down off of uh, premium about two minutes before the drop, just so I can go ahead and put inventory in and then pop them back on. So, so they're don't live. freak out. Yeah, don't freak out if it's it's blank when you reload it. Yeah, I didn't think about that. They will freak out. <laughs> like, dude, it just broke. It just broke. Holy shit. <laughs> They're all gone. They're sold out. Yeah. <laughs> Drop's coming, folks. T minus 29 minutes. I feel like a space shuttle launch. Like, dude, we're all gathered here tonight to watch, like, the launch of SpaceX. More seeds in the back going in. How many packs of that you going to have? Of. <clears throat> oh, yeah, how many packs of the blessed seeds that we have do we know? I might keep them all for myself. <laughs> I definitely want some of this herb, man. For sure. Um, <clears throat> let me see here. Sorry, Des. We just lost a few. We just lost like hesitant to six say how many packs. <laughs> so there's at least a hundred or two. It's at least two hundred packs. Two hundred. Yeah. There's at least two hundred packs sitting here that are about to be blessed up. So two hundred of you are going to bring these special seeds into your garden that are blessed. Mm. Yeah, Daz is back with us real quick, folks. So 27 minutes to go. If you got any questions pre-drop up to the last second, now's a, now's a good chance to ask. You got some music or something to uh, put on in the background, or are we just going? Royalty-free. So, yeah. I've already violated all royalties <laughs> about 20 times over with guess the, guess the song in the background, but fuck it. I got something for you, bro. Yeah. Uh -oh. It's not. Uh, it doesn't oh. really fit with the theme. You know got that. nothing with the theme. I left something downstairs I wanted to show off. Here we Let me go. Grab that real quick. Light up a stage and wax a chump like a candle Dance, caress the speaker that booms I'm killing your brain like a poisonous mushroom Deadly, when I play a dope melody Anything less than the best is a felony Love it or leave it, you better gain weight You better hit bulls out a kid don't play If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it My birthday is coming up, my so I took that literally. Died. I get my it. My phone just died. That was a good one. My apologies. I went right over my head. <laughs> well, can I ask you to snap pics of this? Because my phone died. I can snap No pic. surprise. Do you need a uh, charger then? I mean, that would be cool, but... What do you got? Android. I got your pics. Do you have yours up here, Caesar? My what? Android charger.
We got this. We got the cigar back out. We got the fire going. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles. Bunch of seeds. We've got scripture. We've got a bullhorn. We've got calligraphy, parchments. It does take some balls to put the cigar in your mouth backwards and blow. Nah, I got that. You wearing a shotgun or? It's a shotgun, yeah. Uh, I, I never fuck with that noise. Never to tried do it. it <clears throat> to be able to flip a cigarette with your tongue backwards or like all around, that was something I never attempted. Yeah, fuck that too. It's like, hey, you want to get into cigarette tricks? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the rest of the X Files song that you never hear? Uh, it's the extended version. Yeah, I don't really know, but this is the official. Did they make that song. Or it's the it? official instrumental. I mean, it's a song. <clears throat> All right, I'm ready to do my thing now. Uh -oh. Can we put um? We're gonna get started. Here. Headlight get a mic on from him? Harry Potter. Oof. Is this mic gonna get melted up here? Does this work? Instagram. It should work. work. Can you hear me? We should be good. I can cool. hear you. Instagram is. Uh, Instagram, sorry, it went three hours. Well, I won't put it to this shit, man. Oh, it's on other shit, I guess. Okay, okay. We're, we're, we're still on YouTube and we're still on Twitch. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses and forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Mighty God and God, my ancestors, on the merit of my blessed ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, on the merit of the blessings you've made, given them in exchange for the covenants they struck with you, I ask that you acknowledge my blessings tonight. I bless these seeds and bless this harvest, even as it is written in your scriptures. And God said, let the earth put forth grass, herb yielding seed and fruit trees bearing fruit after its kind. And it was so, and God saw that it was good. A person's life is sustained by trees, just as others planted for you, plant for the sake of your children. If you had a sapling in your hand and were told that the Messiah had come, first plant the sapling, then go out to greet the Messiah. Build houses and dwell in them. Plant gardens and eat the fruit of them.
You shall be like a tree planted beside a river that brings forth its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither, and whatsoever you do shall prosper. Zion shall no more be termed forsaken, neither shall the land be termed desolate anymore. For the pastures of the wilderness are green with grass, the tree bears its fruit, the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad, O land, and rejoice, for the Lord hath done great things. All right, where's that holy water? There it is. Yeah, that was, is there a way we can maneuver that was beautiful. It so it's within arm's reach of me? Can we get that? It. That's, I just need to be able to get my fingers in it. That was great, Moses, really. Is. No, we're just getting started, Daz. Here, oh, we're yeah? going to do a little call and response on this, my friend. Okay. Here we go. Uh, let me get you your, uh, your blessing here. Here we go. Daz, here's your copy. And we'll wait for the water to be passed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, buddy. It's you and me. Thank you, sir. Okay. So I'm P, and you're all. Anything that doesn't say what it is, it's mm -hmm. me. But anything that, you know, all is always you. Sure. That's all good, man. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. The Lord be with you. May he also be with you. Let us pray. Holy Lord and Father, almighty and everlasting God, we ask and beseech you to look with merry countenance and fair eyes on these seeds. And as you proclaim to Moses, your servant in the land of Egypt, saying, tell the children of Israel, that when they enter the land of promise, which I shall give them, they are to offer the first fruits to the priests, and they shall be blessed. So too, at our request, O Lord, be merciful, and pour out the blessing of your right hand upon these seeds, which you in your benevolence bring forth to sustain life. Let neither drought nor flood destroy them, but keep them unharmed until they reach their full growth and produce an abundant harvest for the service of body and soul. We ask this of you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, sower and tiller of the heavenly word, who cultivate the field of our hearts with heavenly tools, hear our prayers and pour out abundant blessings upon the fields in which these seeds are to be sown. By your protecting hand, turn away the fury of the elements so that this entire fruit may be filled with your blessing and may be gathered unharmed and stored up in, your, in the granary. By the merit of my blessed ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom you have blessed in your name to be a blessing and to confer your blessing upon creation. Amen. I bless these seeds by water, water purified in the name of God. I bless these seeds of smoke by God's holy incense. I bless these seeds by fire and the blessed word of the Lord. Amen.
by the ash of this holy writ, I bless and sanctify these seeds. Every one of the seeds that touches and every seed from the same plant, every seed of the same lineage, same lineage. Every plant grown from these seeds shall be holy to the Lord of Israel. They'll bring joy and blessing to the lives of all who behold them and all who cultivate them with love and dedication. So it is as a prophecy of the Lord. Amen. Did not know it would be rum spitting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so I'm definitely going to germ test these again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, we got? Busting out the oh, horn. We're good. We got 10 minutes. 12 10 minutes to the drop. Dude, this is, this is intense. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. No. Uh, watch your ears, everybody. No. Third time's charm. It's got to be three. My daughter usually does this part. (laughs) She was like, Dad, you're not bringing the expert with you. (laughs) No. (laughs) That was the one. Thank you, thank you. There you go. <laughs> Here goes your eardrums. I think those are coyotes outside. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, where are we at? Who do Moses? Is that, is that complete here, your, at, your blessing? Look at all the aura now. Oh, shit. Can't even see him. Yeah, look at that. I Dude, mean, the dogs are all have, about that horn. I horde. just have Thanksgiving to give to the Lord. Though. That was just a wake-up call for the drop is in mm-hmm. fucking 10 minutes. Yeah, I'll announce it with the big one when it's time. <laughs> I think so. Is that right? Yep. That's what I've been telling people. Yep. I hope so. <laughs> your dog hates it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. The Sorry dogs, for your dogs. Dogs came in. My dog came in too. Yeah. No, they didn't bark. They were they were in hunting mode. They're like, let's stalk that shit. Well, on that note, you good? I complete the blessing of these seeds for a consecration to the Lord and everyone who shall grow them faithfully. Thank you so much. You so, Amen. Dad, just let these candles finish burning before you start packing them up. We'll do. I germ test them again, but you know. I'm gonna. That, that light <laughs> mist of...
Uh, by the way, it's 151, everyone, so there's no COVID possibilities. Yeah, that should have evaporated. Extremely high <laughs> yeah, proof. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, he said germ test. I was like, damn, so I need I, a COVID I'm test. I'm going to quarantine them first, and then germ test. <laughs> yeah. Those aren't going to ship out until after the weekend for sure. So be patient on those if you're ordering them. It'll be worth it, 100%. This is 100% a drop for the ages. Yeah. No, it's, it's an all-timer. So, yeah, everybody. Like, remember to smell the bag when you get it, too. They're pumpkin spice bags. <laughs> <laughs> it is trick or treat, remember, people. <laughs> yeah, this was fucking phenomenal. Thank you, guys. This is yeah, one of thank the, you. We have funner streams we've ever done. I yeah. appreciate you guys coming here. Who do most? Only nine minutes blessing. left. Shit. Oh, yeah, uh, we're going to stay on. Dad's here, Night right? Owl. Yeah, for, let's rock uh, it through. Coming, coming down to do the. Uh, Late night. Yeah, again, thank you so Eight. much for Late taking the time drop. out to do this. Seconds. And Daz, I don't know if you uh, if you're a taxpayer. I am. Well, you know what? You just got yourself a write off because you can just go oh, ahead and pay goodness. this right to the temple. Well, thank so you so much. Yeah. So you get a nonprofit donation receipt and all that good stuff. Perfect. All right, I get. We'll hang out for eight minutes. Why the fuck not? Yeah. Last go, go last check it, last second questions for who do Moses well, for I'm, I'm coming Daz right back. But Hulk, Hulk, you're gonna give me a smoke right now, <laughs> sir. You gotta keep your hoodoo priest happy. Why'd you choose that strain for us? Um, because of the cross. Natural OG, yeah, and Cosmic Queen. The question was, why did he choose that strain to bless? Mm -hmm. and because it was the supernatural. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah, it seemed fitting. You don't know what's next. What's the most unique strain from tonight? Kind of a tricky one. You got the most unique strain out of all those? Something that stands out, outlier. I mean, anything with with the Zamodelica in it is always unique. So, Galaxy Brain, I would go go that way. Uh, why no pink Panama cross? Who said that? Who said that? Damn it! Who, Who are that? you? Seller. Just call me Sam. Man, you might end up with something as a tester pack. Okay. If uh, if you go that route. Okay. Those are grow at your own risk. Halloween horror show. Halloween horror show. Potentially unstable? The question mark. Um, so I switched lighting up this time, and I've talked to some people. I don't want to badmouth the lights at all. <clears throat> that said, they had experienced the same exact thing that I had, which is in the last two weeks, certain strains that are not um, prone to hermaphrodites at all pop nanners, and it it blew me away so I've set most of those aside stable phenos from those crosses I've set aside to do some testing with just to make sure that even though a different plant did show some perm tendencies and this one did not that it's not a line thing so there's a few like that that I've set aside where I have seeds that came from a plant that did throw a late nanner that I'd never seen before and plants that didn't throw any nanners but just to be sure I've, I've set them aside for you know, safe trial and error before I just release them out there. Daz, yeah. I got an awesome comment on my IG. Oh, yeah? It says, this is the coolest drop I've ever been a part of. Watching you bumped up my budget to get this strain. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. honestly, this blew me away, man. Thank you so much. It was more than I expected. Really? It, well, yeah. thanks, Daz. It's my pleasure. No, that was beautiful. And, and this was so much fun. Thank you. It took my mind off the drop. And, you know. You know who's going to be really jealous? Who's that? IROC. Because oh, IROC yeah? has been asking me to come bless the ground on his farm. Shout like out to IROC. Months. IROC was probably in the IG live at yeah, some point he's, tonight. He's, he's jealous. But uh, yeah, IROC's looking for a blessing. If you guys need a blessing from Hoodoo Moses, look for him on IG. And uh, it's right there on the screen. And he can potentially do a blessing for you. Hook it up. All I'm saying, this pussy handle <laughs> is delivered here. <laughs> Dude, get yourself. Are those on, on eBay, or does that need a special blessing? I think blessing? this is oh, a it's special Hoodoo blessed, Moses yeah. item. Yeah, okay. And it comes special. It was specially blessed for me. Uh, all I'll say is, why not? You know? Do right. yourself a favor. Well, what's the least? You, you'll get a pussy candle out of it, you know? <laughs> pussy candle out of it. Just saying. I'll put it in a pussy candle tier. There you go. I will do a pussy candle tier. Pussy I candle so. tier. We might have to have the super platinum fucking seed bazaar. <laughs> pussy candles come standard. <laughs> T minus five minutes. Are you fucking excited or what? <sighs> Fingers better be fast, fellas. Daz's palms are sweating. Mm -hmm. He thinks no one's going to buy it. Yeah. He doesn't believe that you guys are going to buy this stuff. So, I mean, I just don't know. He's got like... 37 pounds of chocolate down there. 
37. That was $400 in shipping alone for the chocolate. How many pounds of chocolate was it? Do you I know? don't know. I wonder how many I pounds. I don't know the weight. $400 in shipping of just the chocolate? Just the chocolate. There's $400 Jesus worth of Christ. shipping weight of chocolate sitting down there. I Mike how much all the chocolate was there. Yeah. Uh, palms are sweaty. You guys' palms are sweaty? <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> You got a five-minute version of the final countdown? The, the song? <laughs> <laughs> it's the final <laughs> countdown. Can I find it for you? Oh, let me borrow your phone and take some pictures of this. My phone's dead. And it's too cool. Oh, uh, I brought you the charger. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's right there. He was in the middle of blowing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Best not to interrupt that. Thanks, guys. Where's the outlet? Oh, that's probably a better question. Where's an outlet? It's a ten foot cord, so not to brag, but you know, yeah, <laughs> you got you got room. Hey Jay, where's an outlet at? Oh, uh, um, good question. There's a power strip close. over there, but that's not exactly close to what we have going on. That's probably the closest one. All right, there. I'll charge it up over here. And I'd say there there's one go. over here, so possibly. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Blue for the tip on the 10 foot power cords, chargers. <laughs> uh, Caesar, I think you got that link wrong. Uh, that's what somebody put in chat. Oh, sorry. It's uh, cbizarre.com slash just premium. See, that, that's a, what is that, red herring? They're trying to throw everybody off yeah, the trail. Yeah, someone just like, tried yeah, to. Go here. Somebody just tried to spin everybody to the wrong website, but no, let's clear up real quick. To be <laughs> on cbizarre, <laughs> the I drop's know. going down on cbizarre.com, and you need to sign up for premium. But the actual web address is cbizarre.com forward slash just premium. But here we go, boys. Two minutes and 26 uh, seconds. It is the final count. So I think, do you need to activate them, Daz? Or? I do. Yeah, right. yep, they're going to go down there. Daz is on the phone, which means shit is happening. Shit is happening. It's all bad. It's all bad? All bad. All bad. This has been all good. This has been really Shoot. fun, you guys. Yeah, this was cool. Selling out by the second. Oh, there goes another one. about to go down. 20 seconds. 10, Oh, they're all gone. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, they're 
Yes, that URL was right. CJ put up. Jesus, I see everybody. I see some of them are. I see one gone. One's gone live. Three are live. They're going live right now. I gotta turn this fucking music on. They're going live. They are live. Good luck, everybody. Give me what you want. But uh, with that, I think we're gonna sign this fucker off. So I know you're all are fucking mashing buttons, not really listening to me anymore. Yeah, no so it. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks, everybody, for the countdown. And uh, we're the fuck out of here. Appreciate Hoodoo Moses for stopping by. BK Roller, who is the man in your ear that you didn't see. Uh, Caesar, of course, over there moderating the chat. We had Daz Night Owl stop by. Well, a really cool three and hour plus long episode, Dark Horse Live episode 35. But peace, everybody. Good luck on the drop. Little boy with gay fish come sit on my shoulder today. Little gay pair with fish sit on my shoulder today and make me a fried shrimpy dish with some soy sauce, baby. As the beat drops, super super fries. Super fry egg roll, triple fry fry rice, triple fry rice, baby. Two for one egg roll, super triple fry rice, triple fry rice, baby. Don't forget the soy sauce. Chan chan chan. There's my gay fish sound, dudes. What?